Should have gotten one for her. You. One of these. Okay, we're on! <laughs> hey! Because I just got the notification. I did too, I heard it a lot. Yeah, congrats, you got it. <laughs> that picture of that map on my paperwork looks a lot more interesting than it really is. Let's try a little sip of it, it'll wake you up faster than anything. Oh, I'm wide awake. Okay! Most of the day. Yep. This is like that, uh, when you're like, Gone like weeks, and you're just. <laughs> this is one of those yeah. drinks. You want to jumpstart somebody from the, from the grave? It's Mountain Dew voltage. What? I think actually I can lift it up a little bit. Piggy, oh! I didn't want that anyways. Yeah, it's a uh, Mountain Dew Voltage, Mountain Dew Code Red, Full Throttle, if they have it, Kickstart, and Red Powerade. Oh, so, I bet we get a mountain. Wake up juice. Yeah. It's <laughs> enough to jumpstart somebody out of their grave. <laughs> okay. We're back again. Yay! <clears throat> now let's see here. Things I wanted to cover. Uh, we talked about an idea. See if people are interested. Let us know when we're thinking about working in a way that people could download and counter like pages. We'll create ones that kind of like reflect what we've been doing. Maybe one encounter per full day of gaming type thing. Uh, let us know if you think that's interesting. We can do the maps for them and your art, just to show we can do it, make them look good and nice. Okay. Uh, is anyone listed as an MVP last time or not? I don't think anyone was, was it? Who? Right. Okay. Did she get a card? Probably not. Hand that down. Freya. 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 Oh, I thought you said Reyna. Well, <coughs> now, on with other things. We will start off by dealing with kind of an unfinished business that we discovered that we didn't do what we should have. And that is, if you guys remember, traveling all the way to the smithy, and then got distracted off in other directions. Uh, Ada wants to know why his gloves are glowing. Ah, that's right. So, you go to the smithy. Um, make a luck roll. Make sure he's around. Hey. He's here. Uh, he says he'll have to check. So what are they doing? Glowing. They're glowing. What causes them to start glowing? I don't know. Well, um, make them glow. <clears throat> Nothing happens. Um, what were you doing when they were glowing? Fighting a vampire. No, you were at that meeting. Yeah. I was at a uh, meeting with the pure elves. Might you slap someone? No. Were you doing anything specific when they started glowing? Or were they saying anything specific? Maybe it was a warning. Who knows? They're Let me check my log sheet. See what I... Because the leather in your armor, not all the was like made here where there's some parts that it was cheaper for me to buy from a red uh, a leather worker in the area 
so. He checks his logbooks and finds out it's the red leather, or red earth leather works. It's a rather well known leather working place. The gloves came from there. And they're not supposed to go. I, didn't I mean, go he there. didn't pay for extra for glowing gloves, and you think someone gave them to him for free. I need to go there then. Okay, it's closed right now. But when we start for the next day, which will be shortly, we just wanted to establish this part. Okay. Um, so we start off with Edo and Reina, right? Reina? That's it. Uh, it takes me a while to get names. And I guess Fox, too, because you were going to go get him, to uh, go work the uh, Bellman's Guild today. They need bodyguards. They got news people don't want to hear. So there may be problems with the crowds. You guys may get to beat up people. Just remember, you got to protect the Bellman. Otherwise, the Bellman's Guild will like uh, cause problems with him, the guy that's hiring you. Okay, um, but as you're gathering, all three of you roll a dice six. No, you're not one of the three. Three. <laughs> Good, because I got a one, so there. There's a reason I didn't cover you. You were ground zero of the encounter. You're having an encounter showed up your butt right now. Ready? No. <laughs> What'd you get three get? I mean, it has been. A one? one? <laughs> huh? Six and... Three. And you got a one? Okay. As you get ready to leave, you're the only one that's outside, and you start noticing something odd. Um, intelligence roll. Twenty-nine. Second level, good enough. Um, there's a lot of unusual, like, people, you, you know your area where you live. Oh, you guys make a path the, the block. <laughs> you know, and Bill's not even in the picture. Well, he, he's, he's in his. No one. He hasn't been. You haven't gotten knocked on his door yet. Just like your sister's apparently still inside because you're the only one notices, this, or she's just not paying attention. And you go, "Hey, look!" Point her head. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> now I walk up behind her and put my arms like this and be like, "Follow my fingers." Okay, <laughs> she's pointing at some guy. In a, uh, a a blackish robe, like hood and robe covering their body, mostly trying to hide. But there's like the problem is there's a few of them like in your neighborhood. Would you roll the second level? Roll a dice six. Nope. Hmm? No, she rolls a dice six. She's the one that noticed yet. Six. Six? You see six of them. Six guys in robes and cloaks kind of sitting around, you know, yeah, around the street. They're not really on your, although one is like on the opposite side of your gate. He's like on the sidewalk area. And they're just kind of like, who are you? Did you come up with, who are you? Huh? Who are you? Uh, just, uh, just you know, good citizen lost though. Um, what's the street? Give him street address or not? He, he lied. <laughs> yeah. This is Main Street. Can't you see the big clock tower? <laughs> now, um, yeah, just he said, "Oh, okay." And he starts slowly meandering away towards one of the other ones. Go get Silver Fox right now. You notice something. <coughs> As you go roll. First of all, you roll luck roll. Luck plus two dice six. So two dice six plus eleven. See how quick Silver Fox wakes up or we're rolling to see if Silver Fox opens his door naked. Sixteen. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I thought you were Edo. <laughs> she rolled a that's, sixteen. That's racist. That's more like bizarre. Why would, yeah, why would he be naked Man for Edo instead? Of <laughs> <laughs> like locker room. Isn't that like Trump's excuse? Locker room talk? Grab him by the dick? Give him a firm handshake? I know you're up for this plan. 
Okay, <laughs> um... I'm starting to turn red for some reason. The heat? Oh. It is a little warm in here. She's going to explode. Everybody it started play. ditching really bad. How long has it been going on? Uh, it just started. Like, today? Like, right as we are doing the game, it started itching. Did you rub up against anything or touch anything? Or? Mm -mm. I know the tablecloth is actually clean for the ones. It's detergent. Damn cleanliness. Well, keep an eye on it. Tell us what BM's problem. Uh, we can give you some lotion if you need. Okay. Or you can wash your hands. No, it just started itching. Okay. Um, you discovered there Circling <coughs> Crystallia's house. Again. Oh, okay, we need to go get some Fox in the... Uh, He's already... Hey, what'd you roll? 16. Yeah, I 16? rolled a 16. Uh, no one answers the door. <sighs> All right. Forty-one. Okay, Ado apparently knocks on the door a lot louder. <laughs> bam! Bam! The only problem is, because you could have stopped banging the number. You, you beat on that door a lot of people. Problem is, half the people in the street looked at you. You start beating on this guy's door. And they're kind of moving away from you because you're, like, causing noise. They don't want to get noticed. So, he opens the door. What's he say? What's going on? Good, you're dressed. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Good, you're dressed. Uh, what's going on? Uh, People surrounding Crystallias, get your ass out here. All right. Let me grab it. And we also have work to do after this. Just busy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How long have you been my agent? Since always. <laughs> can't remember. Too drunk. <clears throat> I have your seat. You signed it right here. No. <laughs> Told you no tequila. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Jose Cuervo. Huh? Oh, Jose Cuervo. Apparently she's watching her stream. Uh-huh. Okay. Hi. That's right. Now I remember. So, what you you go in there and told him? He uh, roll die six. One die six. Bill. Four. So take him two rounds. He does not have his armor or his weapon. Get dressed. Three hours later. <laughs> Four and a half hours later. Uh, I'll let you re-roll your encounter, Christelia. What encounter? In your room. In your house. Okay. Wait. <laughs> roll a die six. This will determine how bad it goes for you. Four. Four? Okay. Is this still a two? How about that? Like it started from here and then um, down here. That's heat. It's a heat rash. Yeah. Huh. What's heat? That's off. Yeah, that's that's from the heat. Could be. What it is is your nerves are your nerve endings are too hot. You're allergic to Alexis. <laughs> She's too it's hot. It's the demon baby. Yeah. Demon baby. <laughs> so am I allergic to demon babies? Then? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you would be allergic. <laughs> oh, look. It could be worse. Hey, yeah, I mean, that's pretty rare, demon babies. Like, you come across it. That's the <laughs> month that you come across the that. Hell. That was not right. Be careful, the baby might eat you. Trouble <laughs> four. Um, someone knocks at your door. Sorry, big down, please. That's all right. You won MVP last time. For what? 
for, for being entertaining. They voted for you for being... Okay. <laughs> I think yeah. it had to do with the kids. Yes! How does she keep on popping off Demon Baby? Demon Baby? Demon Baby? No, the ones that hang around her house. Yeah, that too. Oh, the street <laughs> kids. I made her laugh while she was eating her ice cream. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, my, my friend Lynette's watching. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> my friend laughed while she was eating her ice cream. Well, then that's even better. You know, the best thing I found I like about doing this... <laughs> my hand is so cold! ...is the realism. <laughs> To watch TV and movies, and when people laugh, it's because the script said to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> but see, this is real laughs. Boob armor. <laughs> a lot of times, we laugh for stupid Go on reasons. Your shirt and do it. Okay. Like oh, some man. people laugh at Adam Sandler movies. Or in the middle of a hey. hey, don't you start with me. Someone. <gasps> Thank you. Knocks on Castelia's um, door. Right in the middle of the back, right there. <clears throat> right. Okay. And your pets. Have gone to hide underneath the bed. Oh. Which is not good for the badger because he doesn't really fit. One thing I would get. One thing before we get <coughs> to this. Tomorrow I'm going to Goodwill getting a folding chair so this one doesn't break while you lean against it. Okay. <laughs> Unless you want it to break, I can break it right now. No, no thanks. Face. Face. Okay. <laughs> Someone's at your door. Just tell you. Back to that. Yeah. Do you answer the door? Yeah, I'll go answer the door. Okay. It's the guy who gave the speech at the meeting. Oh, hey. Logan, or was it his name Logan? Mm -hmm. I don't I remember found names. People's names. Um, Logan. Okay. Uh, I, I, I am going to probably have to get my book over here one day and just write people of interest and just write it down. Well, since you're a cop, you know, it's a good idea. I gotta have to, I kind of have to. Um, but I did find the other one that had the other people's names. Awesome. Uh, Dospa. Spalonia. He, these people have the weirdest names. There's Crackle Carter, or Cackle Carter. Yeah. But Logan, Logan's leaving, man. He wants to go join the bad guys. Well, except for, see, there at your door. And he starts trying to come in. Do you let him in? Slam the door in his face. No. <laughs> the baby believe him. <laughs> what door is he knocking on? The front or the back? If it's the back, don't let him in. <laughs> I always let them in the back door. <laughs> you sick bitch. I don't have another choice. You sick bitch. Okay. <laughs> Um, all righty. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let him come in. You let him Just in? him. You see, you have noticed there's a couple more out on the sidewalk. Back okay. a bit. Yeah. So just him. Okay. So. Apparently, you heard about us a bit through someone else. The question is, once you found out that we were looking for the orb, why didn't you sell it to us? <laughs> oh, you mean that orb? Mm -hmm. There's so many orbs. How am I supposed to... I don't know what orb is which. Well, I have 1,200. 1,200 orbs? No, 1,200 gold for that orb. Oh. It's got a long history. It's actually been in another dimension. And uh, we want it back. But why? You don't even know its full abilities. No. But he, he, hmm? he's, kind of, he's kind of an asshole. Oh. I, I knew that. <laughs> That's what you feel about the guy? No, no, the, the orb. That's kind of yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh. It's because you're just not properly operating it. You haven't realized what it actually does. What so what good is it to you to keep 
what I can find, give you gold, and this looks like this home needs it. Let's see, I'll show you. I have. Oh, I mean, you have help for you. You have nothing for security in here. People could break in at any time and kill you and everyone in here. And take it if they want it. Where's the freaking dwarf with that being said? He's stupid. That would mean that you would be smart enough to figure out where I put it. True. <laughs> Doesn't come to a deal, so he go, goes back to the door, opens it up, and leaves. Okay. Outside. Um. The guy comes out, talks to a couple, and they start like uh. You know. Kind of giving signs to each other as they start to like move around. Like they're gathering closer to her place. <coughs> well, he's ready. You're all ready. Where is the dwarf at? He's right. Oh, the dwarf? He's uh, back at the troll in the tavern. Uh, okay, Helen, get your ass back here. It's early in the morning, so he probably doesn't have to start working yet. Um, I'm looking for. I am running for you. I am he's running a blue one. for you. Okay, from where you guys are. Since you guys are... There's just way too choppy right now. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. I can't find it. Okay, and... Guard tower's over there. So it's it's a bit. Um, who's doing it? Make a speed roll. Speed plus two dice six. You're not even at your capacity, are you? So your heavy armor doesn't affect your running speed. I don't think. I'm not doing math for you. No math. Don't do math. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. To take him three rounds to get there. So it's you two, and he's run off to go f get the police. I'm gonna use my charm to see what's going on. Okay, who do you want to go talk to? The main guy. Yeah, who came out of her house? Yep. Okay. Go walking up to him. What's your charisma? And we'll roll two dice six plus your charisma. Come right up to him. I see. Uh, he's been putting up his hand, but his Christmas on stranger. His thing is like, you know, this is, you know, this is not your business. Just need you to clear the area. But then you come up at him. What do you say? So what's going on? Oh, we've had someone over here uh, steal some of our uh, stuff from our temple. So we're going to deal with it. Um, you're wrong. You like some chicken nuggets. Excuse me? Fristalia never stole anything from anybody's temple. She's been with me the entire time. I've stolen shit from people's houses. <laughs> no, I'm stealing the demon baby juice. <laughs> what are you looking for tonight to probably see if she has it? But I'm telling you, she probably doesn't. So you're saying if we tell you you're going to go in and set her right? Sure, why not? Come spank me. Bend over. Well, I just hope you don't regret becoming a hostage in another situation. Yeah, they're, they're, they're okay, it's this. She had someone a few days ago. 
show up at her house that stole an orb from our temple. This month happens to be the month that they're deciding only one cult gets the new temple space. And if we don't have this, it's going to make it a difficult way to go up to do it. Um, she has it because the person broke went to her house. I don't know why her. Well, maybe it's just random. We weren't too far from this location when it was stolen. And uh, sold it to her for 600 gold. Uh, the guy's not with us anymore, but he gave us her location and the facts about it. Uh, we got most of our information by speaking to the dead, so we're pretty sure about the answers. And, uh, well, we've doubled that price and offered her 1200 and uh, we're a small, small cult, so uh, we don't have anything more than that right now. So, you want to go talk to her? Otherwise, we will be retrieving it within the First hour. off, she's not the one that stole it. Second off, it was the Druids of Doom that stole it from you. And she's a member. Not Which not. I don't know about, I think she's some kind of like cult whore. She, she like showed up at our place, too. I'm an Come in with me and I'll take care of it. No, I'm not going in alone with, without my men. Good. Hey, stay out here. I'll be right back. Go inside. Hey! hey. <laughs> Give me the orb. Or else you're gonna die. That's what the guys outside said. I... I'll give you the orb. I'm gonna give him the orb. Okay. She hands you the orb. Is it the right orb? Yeah, it's okay. the right orb. Sure. I don't have any other orb. Why would I just have an orb lying around? <laughs> just in case you have to lie to Edo about it? Ah, yes. The fake orb. There is no fake orb. I already know that. Okay. This orb... <laughs> that one's actually my vagina. Roll 2 die 6 on your wizardry. <laughs> 35. 35. This orb is made of a very unique, strange metal. You've not seen in this quantity before. So you're not 100% sure. But the orb itself mm -hmm. is a red robe priest orb. It's basically an omnipotent eye in an orb. You can take anything, ask the orb what it is, and it will tell you exactly what it is. It doesn't tell future <coughs> stuff like that. It's just very much identifies what something is. Okay. So that's what you know about looking at it. You're not 100 sure how to operate it. Being a rogue, you could probably learn after a while. Um, being more of a blue beetle would be a problem, though. So. Right, so I take a stupid orb and I throw it at the guy and be like, here, leave. Didn't know you were going to give it to him. He throws a bag of gold on the ground. And they all, all ten of them, go off in different directions. <coughs> You've seen them before. They're the cultists of oblivion. You guys ran into some the other day at the. They've been standing at the hotel where you're at. Yep. Yeah. They kind of came in mass lately. They've been scamming up what's left of the druids of doom. And uh, and bringing them in. So. I have other pencils if you need. You have other pencils if you need. Everyone has pencils. We hope. Okay. You just hand that over? Yep, and I take the gold. Okay. You may decide what you wish to do with the gold. Keeping it. Okay. Comes over, grabs shit from your house. Actually, no, I'm going to give her 600 of it. Okay. <laughs> As in, Reno. Yeah, 600 gold. <laughs> I have an idea for you what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does it involve tying up? So right, 600 gold. Does it involve me yes, stabbing you in the dick? <laughs> Because it sure looks like it to me. You have something white in here. 
No, the other. The side, okay. It's hard for you to stand tough. special sauce. You say it's hard, it's hard for you to sound tough while there's white stuff dripping off your mouth. <laughs> that is true. It yeah, takes away all the impact of the attack. Okay. <laughs> um, your crew fancy. is getting 100 gold pieces per day. Which is your three, unless you bring anyone else. You can divide however you want. Okay, the guard shows up after a while because you went to get the guard and show up. You guys show up as you see these cultists of oblivion, and strangely enough, they're in a residential area. Kind of like passing off, leaving. They're running away. Mm, they're walking away. Figure of speech. <laughs> they were departing. When you show up, roll two dice six. Both of them? No, just, just him. The guard. Don't I have to roll again on that one? <laughs> Doubles? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd roll again. If you roll a one and a two, no matter how many times it takes you to get there, it's a fail. Twenty. Twenty total? That's the first level. You notice something you're investigating at state. Awesome. Um, one guy while leaving was kind of like shocked to see the guard showing up and entered a tree. Okay. You expected him to come out, but you kind of like looked around the tree as you went and he was gone. It's interesting. Okay. Um, since you're a guard, you had gotten basic idea on some of the different things that go on in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing you found out about the cultists of Oblivion is they tend to show up every time a cult dies. Of course they, they gather are. people, and they um, have a, been bidding for a while for the last temple space. Um, let's see here. The last temple space. It's gone! The last temple space is already gone. Is... Um... Okay. You can take this by hand. You can take this person. Yeah. I think it's actually communication abilities or spells. Talking old school pet. Okay. <laughs> um, now, for you guys, what are you, who, hey, hey, what are you doing? Who are you taking with you? You can gather any of them or all of them if you want. All of them. You just go over and show up at everyone's house? Yep. Everyone, you got work to do today. Of course I gotta work. I got guard duty here, see? So. Nope. You know. Well, you're guard dutying the uh, Bellman's Guild guy as he passes through the area. True. Now, the reason we're doing this... How many press do you need? No, you it is? You need to work forever. That might work. Ah, ah. He's got bad news that people don't want to hear. I just gotta find where it is. What's the cult's name again? The cult you just dealt with? Yeah. The uh, Cultist of Oblivion. You have this book that you don't write in anymore. No, I didn't write in. Now, also, though, don't, don't forget, that. you guys wanted to find out more about the stuff later on at uh, Findar's Stable. Guys, don't forget about that. Which is more your area. And I also need to go to that other place. Yeah, it's, it's a busy day. Uh, a couple of times you might be able to swing the thing over in that direction. Hit there on the way. Um, the kay. front door's not open, is it? Fuck yeah. Where's, we don't went that way. Far. No, she was just on her normal spots over by the uh, barbecue. <coughs> Pardon me. Hey, 
sweetie. Here. Um. There you go. You go on the other side by the stove. I'll go this way. Okay. Just so I'm aware of any other people of interest I need to know of. It. Um, the druids, or the, uh, not druids, the cults of oblivion, they just show up kind of like vultures. Okay, so they're people of interest. Yeah, there's someone, especially right now, they don't, they're not from this area. Mm -hmm. they, show, they showed up in this area because the, dru the druids of doom have been dying of a plague lately. Okay, so technically they're still around. Yeah, but they're, they're, a lot of them are, are converting to Putrexia, which is a healing god, because he's healing them, supposedly. Okay. Although none others claim to even have a god behind them. They're all an idea, and someday this god will show up. I just need to know in case there's any more. Now, we need to add to the people of interest. They happen to just head off, so, um. Okay, well, there's still people of Those that were involved in that thing. Huh? All three of you? Four of you. 60 points apiece. You didn't deal with it a normal way, but. 60. Huh? It's a way it's dealt with, so you get the bonus points. Divided right, all dealt with this. At least so far. Okay. There's a new warlord tax on the citizens for the security of the Outlands. They would like to an army unit of, of uh, flintlock rifles. And they cost. So the guild has informed the public okay. of this new tax. Did you already add 60? No. Mr. Waldorf does not want his employees hurt. So he's hired you guys to bodyguard this bellman. Basically five stops between here and there. Okay. Um, since you started this, one luck roll for you to start with. What'd you get? 34. 34! It's all good. First one's fine. You see some tension, though. Um, for what you have details on the tax, just for you to know, a larger <laughs> home means more tax. Smaller homes mean less tax. It starts out as a person. It's only five gold. It's all he's asking from everyone. Although a lot of people don't spend that much in a month. But that's what he wants. This is Warlord Krang. The same guy who you guys are kind of involved in the competition to make happy. To make a special armor and, we and weapon for. So when he leaves, he has all these new toys too. Okay. Now. For the fun part. Kind of fun. Basically, this is kind of an unusual expected direction. But this has to do with, well, we'll start with this. Uh, Freya. You wake up, and um, the guy who works, do you work for, is shaking your bed. Mm -hmm. The smoothie? Yeah. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I wake up and say, what was going on? <laughs> um, my son's gone. Crap, not again. <laughs> I can't find him. What do we do? You found him last time. What's going on? How did I... He no likes way. to hang out with the group of kids. What? Yeah. He's not allowed to go outside. Uh, he sneaks off. Apparently you're on his side. No, no, I drag him back every time, but it's just getting annoying. <laughs> okay. So, you, so what do you do? I go right, after him. You're, you're like Where do you go? Sixty away from being. Where was the? Dang it! Oh crap! Shoot! Where did the demon take the kids? Huh? Where did the demon take the kids? Garden area. Okay, I'll, go, I'll head over to the garden area. Don't kids. you do it, kitty cat. Listen, I just... A demon appeared with two children? 
No, I thought the demon had a whole group of children with them. I thought it was the same group that had. Oh, she only had two. Two. Okay. So you're talking about those ones? Okay, never mind. I thought I thought he was with them. No, no, that was entirely unrelated kids. Those kids looked adult size. Okay. But they're only like nine years old. They okay. are bigger people to begin with. They're half giants. <laughs> they're devils. The dwarf remembers this. That's sad. Okay, I want to check the... No, they're huge for you. You remember? It's fucking... The guy was 200 feet tall. You can't remember him? <laughs> I want to check the same house. I was house. afraid his dick was going to be gone. Gone. The same house I found last night. <laughs> okay, so you're tra tracking them down? Yeah. Okay. Now... I've been trying to joke with you. You've been doing it. Hey, everyone. My. Okay. Because this is. What do you do after you get to that house? Knock on the door. Okay, you get there. Um, one guy answers the door. One of the kids. Is um. It's one of the goody goodies. Goody goody. Takes care of the house. Better. I need to you know this. We'll say you know his name. Okay. I asked for the kid. Um. They went to you find some food. We're out. Uh, do you know where they went? That lot too. They don't tell me because, well, I worry. And I complain and I at one time told the police. <laughs> okay. Well, shoot. Um, do you have any idea, like, what kind of foods do they bring back, usually? Hey. Well, they weren't Please. trying that. The brass Please. boy... He said he knew where they could find some stuff to get money for food. He said he'd been there before. <coughs> okay, okay. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. What are you? Um. Yes, we're going back to my place. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now. This is what happens. Everyone gets one. My of goblins. These. No. <laughs> that may be an encounter. It's the kids, isn't it? Yes, you're rolling the kids. Oh shit! Each of you are playing a kid. Playing a kid. I am playing Brass Boy. Ooh, uh. Well, actually, no. We'll let you. <gasps> okay. Brass Boy has an MR of 100, but only has one dice six attack, um, which is just a punch. One die six. His dad's got the opposite, really weak in body, but really huge attack. Um, a lot of this stuff won't matter to you. You won't get a talent, you really won't get a trinket, except for you're made of brass and you have 100 points. You can throw rocks all you want, um, and you won't be getting a spell. Um, we'll call it Brass Boy. Because that's the one you know. So you want him to live. Okay. He's, he's pretty tough. We have to fight children? No. The children are busy in someone's dungeon. Oh, Fine. okay. And it was to see how long it took for people to piece together where they were. So that determines how many churns they had running around. Mm. Okay, everyone. Take your form. The top space is a name. You can decide at this point, male or female. So we get a name them? Yep, you get to name them. I don't have a name for them. We're creating the kids right now. It'll be fun. It's something different to do. We might do this sometime with your goblins, like I said before. We're kind of testing the system. <laughs> Billy Bob. <laughs> Thornton? Oh my god. <laughs> no wonder they don't have homes. <laughs> I was like, you guys have horrible names. <laughs> it's the name. You die. <laughs> Where's my There he is. <laughs> No. First thing that uh, came to mind, actually. Okay. Um. <laughs> what we have <laughs> is under the types. What kind of start crap did you start? Mm -hmm. Um. We'll start here at you. Okay. The dwarf that's to my left. Roll a dice six. Six. Okay, your type, street kid type, is the goody good. Oh God. They're like a, a half priest class. They're going in that direction. But they want good no, things. No, you need to roll die six. Yes, we're going around and we're doing that with everyone. 
it has watered down. What do you expect? And it's root beer. Oh Five. my god, you hate, huh? why do you hate root beer? Five! Yours is a wizard type. A nerd. Nerd. <laughs> he carries books around. <laughs> he likes reading. Your special talent would probably be, um... Sucking dick. No. <laughs> 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 would be uh, reading. <laughs> Others maybe can't do it yet. Got it? You'll get a spell. So will the priest. They have a kitty cat that's been speeding him. You rolled a two? A two is a civilian known as street urchins. No magic. Hey, you're a sea urchin. But... You get to roll one die six. Five. Okay, you secretly have five gold hidden somewhere. People need food. It's like as a backup, but that's all the money you have. You got that to go to college. It's some scam. <laughs> I'm trying to leave, man. <laughs> roll die six. This kid. What kind of kid is he? Six. Goody good. Under type, put goody good. That basically is a pre-class um, priest and it will know a spell when we're done. <laughs> These are like big brush, broad strokes. Okay, just tell you. Roll right. for the one in front of you. Okay. His type? Five. He's a wizard. Nerd. Yeah. Are you making fun of him? Okay. I like wizard nerds. Where it says MR? Everyone roll a die six and add it to three. And then write down in that space. That. Three. Nine. Where's your nine? Right, right there. Okay. We'll go backwards order. She's already done, I guess, because she doesn't get any of these toys. She just gets me made ah. out of metal. Gets home and goes, I lost my friends again, Dad. I told you. Every time you hang around with kids, they freaking follow you around. <laughs> you cause Why can't you just be dad's friend? Yeah. I'm cool. I'm down with the iPods. I make them. Um, I'll be rolling those red first. I just gotta find that goddamn chart. It would help if I instead would like remember or mark it. Instead of hoping it opens to it every time. There it is. Close. <laughs> yep. Rope change dice. We're doing one bogey for all of them. Red's first, you said, right? Yes. yes. 41. We'll be needing these kids later. Ugliness! Not! <laughs> Write down ugliness. <laughs> <laughs> That's his bogey. Next. Hand the dice over to Rana. Oh, they're my dice. Then you can also choose a name based upon this trait. I already chose the name and I'm sticking to it. Prince that Charming. Yeah. <laughs> 43. 43. Th Impotence. It's a kid. <laughs> Guess you haven't come to puberty yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're pre-pubescent. Well, I thought we all were. But well, it could depend. If you roll really high on your number, or warrior can be explained why you have the extra stats. Um, but I don't think anyone rolled a warrior. What do you got? It's a random. 98. 98. You're Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, he's not. I was just being an ad. I warned you about this day of the Jews. Holy shit. Oh, God. Need some help? No. I take it this is a secret. The Jewish one, I'd keep that secret too. Lycanthrope. What? It's a lycanthrope. It's a werewolf. Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Voluntarily change it to wolf. Uh, cool. Uh, once every 12 hours so you become an MR creature 
So what you would do is add your stats there. together. Well, no, you're already Aria Marcus, yeah. it's true. But it would probably give you a better attack or not. Yeah. I mean, she's probably a small wolf. Or he. You, I mean, we don't she. know. She? Okay, um, roll for... 56. 56. Did you give him the dice? I gotta get this book easier to read someday. Do you want me to, do you want me to read them off? Resistance to fatigue. Devin, let me see it. I'll takes... I only need one more. Takes twice as long to get exhausted. Okay, next. Okay. Just write it down. Fourteen. Resistance. Nothing. Okay. No bogeys. Awesome. Uh, that. Uh, anyone roll three a warrior? No. Anyone roll a four a rogue? No. Just four. Just you roll a four. Goody go for the nerds. For, what? for your class type. What is no. everyone? Street urchin. Goody good. Good. Wizard. I'm a nerd. Wizard and... Two nerds. Yeah. Brass kid. Brass boy. <laughs> <laughs> he has a name. That's his name. Brass boy. That's what the kids started calling him. It's a nickname. No. His name was... Uh, oh, Son. okay. That's what the... Yeah, the kids... Okay. Yeah, but his name was Sun. It is. That's what... That's what but that's what Dad you called him. It's all they were. Was sad and Dad and son. Sad and done. No, that's even worse. Okay. Um. No, it might be scary because some of the skins coming off. Next stage. Just letting you know. We're getting there close. Uh, I think the dice gotta go around again. Yep. Uh, we'll go backwards though. They're here. Do you have them or not? Nope. Yep. Oh no, I do. No one gets to roll nothing. Nobody's talking. Okay, hey, roll up, change dice. Oh, excuse me. Oh, tucks. Zero, six. I heard tucking. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I Roll that ten. Just one of them. Anyone? Just one, doesn't matter. Two. A painter! He's a painter. Where do I put that? Under talent. And you will roll two dice six for that talent. Cool. Next. 93. Uh, Streetwise. Streetwise. <laughs> two dice six. Two. No, two dice six, you roll. Let's see what skill you have. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So streetwise, ten. Street. Kind of useful. Uh, oh, Next. Figure mine out. 27. Jewelry maker. You have a hobby of making jewelry. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Oh, I rolled two dice six for it. No doubles at this point. You're still kidding. Hey. You don't even have the real skill yet. Boy, you just want to scratch that thing. Why don't you just put the strap down? No, it's not that. You just want to scratch it. You want some oil on it? No, no, an oily no. break. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting... What'd you get? Eight. Eight? Did you try to fake it? It didn't work. I thought that was the demon baby's job. <laughs> Roll by ten. No, no, no. The baby will eat you. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna have all four of you something next Sunday. Is it more bad dragon dildos? No. Uh, okay. Because you just can't take it. Uh -oh. I can't. I can't. I, um, no, I want more. <laughs> Which roll? I got a one. A one. Contortionist! Oh god! <laughs> you like hiding in places. Like you lose. This is the kid that you lost underneath the sink. You like wake up in the night, go out and get something in the kitchen and you grab go your leg. Yeah. You fall down. Kind of kid that can hide in the sock drawer. Okay, Christelia. Oh. Okay. Oh god. The red first? Yeah. 24. Second one down. Farmer! <laughs> This could have to do with your background. All these could be things you probably learned from parents. Wait, is it in talent? Yeah. Nerds can also write. Um, read and write. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Since if you're learning to be wizards, you're like reading from a book. <sighs> okay, we got all those. Yes. 
Okay, yeah, one more easy. thing, I think. And everyone can roll on this, I guess. Trinket. We'll, we'll let you roll. Yeah. We'll let you see if you have a trinket. Some you grabbed from the house before you left. A trinket is something that, like, is your prized item. But these are... Yep. Can you write that in that space I marked off? Okay. <laughs> 32. Yeah. A knife! <laughs> okay. You grabbed a knife from home. You're like, ha ha! I'm gonna fight things. <laughs> Give yourself two plus zero. He's like, I'm a fighter. I'm a kid with a knife breaking into someone's basement. I'm just like Freya and her friends. Yeah. <laughs> I will protect you! <laughs> Squish. Ta-da! When does it become the Goonies game? <laughs> Okay, next. Christelia? Plus two plus zero? Plus two huh? plus, is the, what did you say? Plus two plus zero? Um, oh yeah, two plus zero, yes. <sighs> Just like a, a knife your dad had. You, your dad makes knives, so he probably found a pretty nice one. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's Freya's. I'll take this. She's like, where's my knife I was making? <laughs> <laughs> I got 72. 72? I don't know why I have your pencil. I don't know why she has my pencil. Because I can't find mine. Was this like, where was my pencil? I gave it to her. A silver teardrop earring made from a real teardrop. That's what you were told. <laughs> I need something you can sell. I think I'll take it for money. <laughs> you stole mom's earring. Could be from your past. You know how street urchins now with no homeless. You're a farmer with an earring. <laughs> <laughs> Do you grow weed? No. <laughs> you know it. Next. An ugly farmer nerd. <laughs> percentage dice over. I can't. I can't pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> Operator error. Operator error. Having a lot of those today. Seven. Seven. You're you're rolling some high numbers today. He's, she's saving them for later. Woo. Oh, I forgot you have Okay. Clues. You have a pair of knicker bone dice. I can't made it with a skull symbol for the one. What? We went to a party last night and they had a game where we won alcohol and alcoholic chocolates. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want a pencil? I have pencils everywhere. Yeah. Give her a pencil. We got them. Done. We can save your pile of pencils for now. Pop my ankle. Next. What'd you get? Hundred. Hundred. Nothing. You have a B in your pocket. Wait, I am my own weapon. I don't know what you're going to do with it, but you have a metal urn. Yeah, yeah, eat it. Containing the ashes of a hero. <laughs> a dick containing the ashes. No, an urn. Oh, is it containing like the dick? ashes of a hero? <laughs> Get off my urn! <laughs> <laughs> Look, picture in the dead. <laughs> they kind of have those things. They have vibrators that you can get your your lovers out. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> can you inject them? No, it's they're vib they're like dildos oh. that, that have like inside of it have roll that of again. these ashes. What do you roll? Nothing? Same as me. Nothing. Got it. You didn't get a knife. All of a sudden your knife is sounding pretty freaking cool, isn't it? Twelve! <laughs> like, were you going to fight off with those earrings? Maybe that book. The nerds are carrying books. Twelve? I could cut ropes and stuff. A small cloth doll. Yeah. <laughs> skewered with needles. Booted all. Awesome. Just he, right, voodoo doll. He's a sociopath. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a voodoo doll. It's two dice plus zero. Oh, okay. There you go. Two plus zero. Oh, yeah. two. oh after two. Two D plus zero oh. if you want, if it's easier. Voodoo. One more roll. The, the dice was with the zero or with the two? Elbow. Seventeen. Voodoo doll. A glass orb. Oh, my gosh. Filled. It's the real orb. 
moving smoke. Okay, these are your items of precious. Now, those of you that are spell oriented, as in mages. Well, let's actually do the uh, rogues first. Who's a rogue? No one. Anyone a mage? There's two nerds and two goody goods. Okay. The nerds. Oh. Which are the wizard, the two wizards. Okay. One oh. reading dark books, mm -hmm. one with a stabbing doll, <laughs> the other one going with his earring. His or her? It's, 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 a, it's a boy. A little boy. It's, it's Steve. Don't make fun of Steve. What's going on? He's oh, a nerd. Yeah, red one. Roll two dice six. Too bad, I can't do anything. I'm I'm sure 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 you lost ten. my dice? Huh? It just went. <laughs> yeah, that's lost. I'm trying to figure out, well, it's black. It's lost until it's found. <laughs> right. <laughs> God, it smells so good. Okay. Does it? What'd you roll on two dice six? Uh, the, uh, ten. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's probably there. Okay. Hey, hmm? you know the spell Loctite. Neat. It costs three points. Those points are MR points. Okay. You turn your life. I don't need it anytime soon. It locks doors. We'll find it later, Mike. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I need it anymore. Okay, cool. Um, other wizard, roll two dice six. Two, two dice six? Yep. And add them together, don't roll doubles. Oh, my no, doubles. What would you get, eight? Is it good? No, I mean, you don't add them in. Did you roll? What did you roll? I had two ones. So you rolled a two. Okay. okay. Well, you enough. said two doubles. No, uh, don't add doubles. Oh, okay. Focus, focus. You know how to enchant a staff. Ah! Chances are you've been enchanting this damn doll. It's the doll of his dead sister. So I, so I Shut up, hero Earn. That's why I tell you. Huh? So I got... Focus, focus. Focus. It allows you to make any item into a magical item so you can use spells through it. It cuts your spell costs in half. You just don't know any other spell shit. It but makes your doll as if it was a magical staff if you use it that way. Okay. Now, you can also decide, like I said, if you're male or females. Now, we're on to the goody goods. Because the... Prats that have been teaching these spells to these kids. Mm. It's cool. for the one. I'm done. After we're done with these two, can we take a break so you can put lotion on my back, please? Yeah. As soon as before we start, right before, right as we finish all the characters. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay. Because it is it's a lot. How's your editing doing? Better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a weird question to ask somebody. <laughs> How's your itching? <laughs> well, it was pretty warm in here when we got back. Okay, yeah. um, so goody like goods. You. Uh, I've never, like, yes. six. Like, nope, it's gone. Eight. I've, I've. Um, roll two dice six. Start what with you. As in, yep, it's a guard. Roll well, well, I'm not a guard, but you're a kid. My arm itched. Eight. Eight. Okay, you learned one called Pass Without Trace. Okay. It costs five points. Now, that's five MR. I don't know if you have enough points for it or not. If not, it just leaves you unconscious when you do it. I have six MR. So you'll have one left. They'll come back after about an hour. Pass so. Without Trace, right? Yep. Veil of Shadows and Silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. Awesome. What dice does she roll? Two days six. Oh uh, yeah, two days six. Cool, so I can cast a spell that cloak is all. Yeah, the cat's doubles? The pat cat. No, what a roll. Ten? Okay. No, it's just the number. Sorry if my three, voice four, kinda five. slurs I'm having issues with my game tongue. Invisibility to animals. You, yes. over there. Invisibility to animals. Invisibility to animal, animals. Okay. 
that is a spell that you have. Okay. And it will cost slide. you three points to do it, which comes off your MR, kind of like it drains your life force. But they come back within an hour or so. <laughs> this one turns into a werewolf and suddenly gets it. Like, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> That's an ironic. That's ironic. <laughs> In other words, if she becomes the werewolf, you can control her. No, no she, she can't. Here. She can cast a spell and hide. Ah, I can pull the rest. That's where she learned it. She'd throw a fit and she'd be like, disappear. She wouldn't be in the room. Okay. Ah, break time for a second. Then we'll start up. Is a bunch of these kids go busting into someone's basement, looking for adventure. Of course they do. Maybe, maybe she gets dead bodies in her basement. Maybe you guys make lots of money. That's kind of scary. Hmm? That's kind of scary. Well, hopefully no one dies. Dead kids. Ooh, uh, uh. Come over here, and I will rub you down. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> and then you come with me into the studio. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going out. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. And then when we come back, we will start. Just tell me when you want me to let you out. <laughs> My legs went to sleep. I'm not here to trap you. Oh. See if you guys you got some. Uh, yeah. Good idea, you know, for like who your people are. Oh yes. Oh yes. Get better? Oh yes. Uh, I gotta start there, right? Wait, I want one. <laughs> you want me to rub down your your tattoo? Yes. Oh gosh. That gets a lot more awkward depending on the location of the, of the tattoo. Yeah, true, true. Oh, I rolled, I made a cord Kool-Aid and I never put it in my mouth. God damn it. Did you call it a fascist? I said it with a passion. Oh, I'm like, it's being such a fascist right now. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> On to the basement. These damn kids. Run it off! <laughs> you, at least you left the house with a knife, huh? Well, see, since mine's walking around with a... Anyone else belt, is going around with rocks. <laughs> well, mine's got running around with a voodoo doll, so I just turned mine to a female. Okay. You can do that. Yeah. These will be the kids that she'll be dealing with later on. They keep hanging around. Very, that looks very good. I'm picturing like a girl like dragging like a... Um, uh, like a doll? Yes, yeah, a, a creepy with, with, looking with doll. With yes. creepy pins stuck in it? <laughs> we don't like you. All of a sudden you're like, I don't want you to hang with those kids anymore. <laughs> Not the little girl. You mean Daisy? No. <laughs> First, her name is Satan. Tell her to come over here. I want to give her her new name. She scares us. Trying to find it. Well, I've been voodoo a couple of times in my life. My uh, ex yeah, said they were going to do it. Just like good voodoo or bad voodoo? Bad. No. I, mean, I was cursed down in uh, New Orleans last time. I said I was going to die. I'm going, eventually, you're right, mm -hmm. I will. Do I have to pay for this? This is shitty information. Exactly. I knew this was going to happen. Uh, I don't believe in the voodoo onto it, so it didn't work to anything on me. My grandma knew some sort of thing. I don't know, it was like part prayer, part um, witchery or voodoo, I don't know, but um, my dad was like very ill when he was a kid. Like, really ill. And my dad kind of did things, I don't know what things wrong, but she did something with an A over in, like, instead of prayer or something. And then broke it, and mm. the A was black, and the A was black. 
then use better a day or now. I don't remember. I think it's a verbal, but it's like. That's a. Uh, that's from the. Uh, not the really, um, so the Mexican area. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The My grandma's. Yeah. Grew up. Yeah. I've seen a lot of different voodoos to travel around in my lifetime. I've been around the world a few dozen a few other times. I haven't found the world where it's going. I've yeah. seen it in it's direction above your head. In Africa. I've That's seen up. it down in Australia. I've seen it in places in the the Tibet, China. I've seen it around the world a few dozen times. I've seen a lot of voodoo in my lifetime. <laughs> I've been cursed in seven different countries. Same person or? It's no, I've been cursed in seven different countries by. In case you're all wondering, nothing's going on. We're taking a quick break and then we'll start with these street kids who've been breaking into Ado's place. Blah, 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 blah. Going, hey, hey, where is everyone? We're all insane. Put me a nice padded room. Okay. I need the rest. Nice dress the other day. He's a little 
heavy weight, heavy weight, but you know, he, he admitted he knows his game. He just stays up there. You know? He shows it all off, makeup, wears dresses. Here's ah. you know. Well, we'll start up soon again. Alrighty. Probably should take my pills. Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Probably getting around nine. Let's see. That's close. I think. What time is it? No, not, no idea. Look is it a secret? Let me look. It's one of those secrets? Eight you know, thirty-five. Eight thirty-seven. Oh, really? I'll wait a little bit. Yeah, but just. I'll tell everyone to get back here. Great to even try and make any friends there. I guess he, yeah, he's, uh, he's not the only person who's gay. Yeah. Okay. And he's going to know that. So we're going to be ready soon. The whole yeah. freaking career. Okay. Got people yeah. sitting there looking at the screen going, nothing going on. Yeah. Bitch, it's broken. I got him. I told him to come over here. We'll make him. Yes! <laughs> we'll see if we kill any children in his basement. I almost made the name for the adventure this week. There are children in my gut. <laughs> Sorry, I was on a conference with my dry kid. That's alright. I almost named today's adventure. There are children in my dungeon. <laughs> I thought it might get the wrong people. Get back in there. Yes, I'm gonna get back in here before. You're all short. Um, um, only in temper. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll get it set up. Wait for Mike. The original from the Mike's all move. 60s. Mike's waiting for you, I think. Oh. Mike's waiting for Bill. Yep. Oh. Bill's waiting for Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's <laughs> waiting for me. We've come full circle. He was only five. five I'll try four. to figure out where that other percentage dice we rolled off to. We'll find it later. All right. I just we're hope we don't kill it. Yep. We'll just have so, to roll the same one twice. And he's also one of the most dangerous. So well, my dice are underneath the cup. So being sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I left my dice at home. Being sexy dice. Oh, where I was hitting you? Right? It's in the kidneys. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to make forts. <laughs> <laughs> I just suddenly realized it's like a little. <laughs> if you notice, I gave you a little more room this time. And then I just started spreading things out. Wait, I you lost that extra room. Okay, <sighs> you all got names for your characters? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to need a die six roll, starting from Mike. And One name. die six. Oh, six. And who are you? Billy Bob. Okay, <laughs> Bill. Die six and your character's name. D E A M A. Two. What? D E A M A. Okay. Yeah. Little girl with her uh, voodoo doll. Mo? Tina. <laughs> Mo Tina. Four. Raina? Three. Three? And Bella. Bella. Crystal! His name is Steve. Steve. <laughs> so what's your die six roll? One. Okay, Freya, roll one for yours and we know you're BB. <laughs> Four. Okay, those are initiative in case we need it. Also, you get to roll two die six. I do? Yep. Wait, no, I don't have these. Ten. 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 Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
eight, nine, ten. That's how long to before someone stops you guys doing what you're doing. Okay, bunch of kids. You show up at the shed behind that guy's house. <laughs> yeah, shed. Like Freya showed you. They're all like, you think we can get enough to be able to like get some food from this? <laughs> Your character believes yes. Plus, he's trying to show off that he like show he can show him how to how to do this, and he always wanted to adventure. So now he has an adventure group. He was afraid to do it alone. He's a little unreal to it, but he's also an unreal boy. He's a Pinocchio. Pinocchio made of brass. Is that here on in the letter? A brass Pinocchio? There. It shouldn't be. I turned it down, way down. Could have came back on. I can open the window. Please do. Okay. Okay. Now, we'll kind of give you the shortened version. Um, the walls of the real. Okay, first of all, I guess we should have started with this. No one has rope. <laughs> do you leave rope? No. Okay. What do the kids do? What do you do? Um, well, I guess and I show them the, the pathway into the dungeon, right? <laughs> yeah, and there's a, a, a drop they have to climb down on a rope to get there. You've been here before. And there's Freya, no rope. So. If you make a luck roll, roll two dice six. Um, and my house is locked up. Maybe someone knows how to pick locks. No, no one rolled. Why do, you, why do you think I have an earring? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a nine. What do I add it to anything? Or? Well, I was giving you a start of ten. Okay, no. Nope. So you don't see you. any rope, and you didn't bring any rope. You got here. You open the doors to the shed, and look down, and there's a hole. Darn guys, there was a rope here last time. The end. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, what are we gonna do? We're out of food in the house. Resort to cannibalism. Mm -hmm. well, you're all playing the other kids. You can pressure her for because or him because he said he would take you here to here and get some money so you guys could buy food for the house that you guys are living in. Illegally. We just need to get down there, guys. All the stuff's down there. Well, let's look around and see if we can find some rope. Okay, roll two dice six. This is how the little rascal starts. Six. <laughs> just a no, nope, you don't see any nearby. You look around, you're a kid. You look behind things. You know, kids can't check for stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... What's your idea? Look for rope? No, I'm gonna go see if the, if the house door is open. Okay, roll. No! Okay. She just did that to check her door. Can I see if a window's open at least? No. Oh, we got a roll. Yeah, you can check the window. <laughs> I we're already inside the building. No, you're at the shed outside the house. Okay. <laughs> no, that's a six. Okay. That's double, though. I'm going to look for bugs. Yeah, that's true. So, do you I roll, roll again? Yeah. Huh? Maybe someone left the window open. Damn goblins. You rolled double, though. So. Yes, roll again. Oh, God. So it's a six, you said? Yeah. Eleven. You have one door, or one window. Looks like it might be able to be open, but it's like, kind of stuck. I punch it with <laughs> my metal hand. <laughs> <laughs> Roll two dice six. 
You have now committed a <laughs> felony. Press, <laughs> <laughs> please, desperate. She's punching a window with a metal hand to see if she can just pop it open. <laughs> Is the door shut up? Yeah, I locked it. Eight. It actually worked. Eight. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you open it, but it broke. <laughs> Guys, there's an open window right here. <laughs> <laughs> they went from your shed to your house. <laughs> Roll two dice six. Ooh. The one that just opened the window. I want to see which room she's by. Okay. Um, nine. Nine. Not bad enough to be the troll hound. Uh, you look like you're in a front room. A little bit you looked in. Can I crawl in? They broke your window. How many rounds have we gone so, so far? Three. She didn't wait long to go for that window. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Or brass, brass boy. <laughs> now your new armor didn't know it came with breaking and entering. Here's new armor and my son will be by to wrap your house. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. <laughs> okay. The problem is this. Oh no. First of all, we need to check. Uh, you look in the room. We'll do two dice six. We're going to keep going that route. I'm going ten as a base, plus whatever you roll in two dice six. Roll two dice six, brass boy. Well, uh, so you the one with the door or window. I'm going to break it. No, I found it open. <laughs> Glass. And broke it, getting in. What just happened? It was broken when I went there. <laughs> I, just, I didn't know glass broke that easy. He thought it was open. He right. thought it was open, and he like put his arm through it. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> That's why I'm looking for bugs. <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking for bugs this whole time. Where do you eat food? Hey, I mean. Hey, bugs are food. Bugs are food. Slimy and satisfying. Exactly. So <laughs> hey, look at cricket. <laughs> Food. So crickets are actually not bad. No, they're not. No, they're pretty tasty. So yeah. three of you are out there discussing about eating bugs. You're looking in the Deep house ride. window. You think you saw something move in the room? Crab worms. Uh -oh. Never tried those. Okay, <laughs> and what are you two doing? The goody goodies. I'm going serious. <laughs> oh, say, wait, you were the, uh, oh, the nerd? Yes. Yeah. Nerd. Okay, good and good. Okay. Yeah. The goody and the nerd. Those two are just standing there. These three are discussing eating bugs. <laughs> Brass Boy is looking in the room and thinks he sees something moving in there. What do you guys do? I hope my goblin whoops your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I won't have to feed my troll hound for a while. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> He's only 1,200 pounds of meat. He almost bought that much to feed him. I'm afraid the owner might come home and catch us. Yeah, you There's should be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'll punch the owner in his pointy dick. The Krat shows up. You guys' friend, the Krat. What's the Krat? It's a cat rat thing. Oh. Yeah. Hey, this okay. cat rat thing. It's a rodent creature in this world. Is it violent? Uh, it's the one that taught you your spells. It's your mentor. It's a familiar that was trained. Um, gonna and it comes up to the one who's the kid who turns invisible to animals. Comes over to you and says, you're here today. 
Which one Sorry, I was taking a drink of me. Drink. <laughs> 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 he surprised you. He walked up and surprised you. It's like, we should go into the house. The guy who owns it killed my friend. I... <laughs> one of them did. I'm not sure which one, but they were all friends of each other. It's not my fault. It's the demon baby's fault. No, I was... I was, huh? I was uh, How safe is hit it with the... Uh, no, go away. How safe it is it? Work. Yeah. You so try I, it. I was enraged. Okay, I'll try it. Okay. True day oh. six. <laughs> Ten. Ten. You get in pretty easily. Okay. You land. Get that. Okay. Uh. You hear it growl. <laughs> <laughs> Someone cast the invisibility on me, please. <laughs> oh, she has to Cast without a trace. Hey. <laughs> Animals. Hey. I got to pass without a trace. Yeah, yeah, somebody. Yeah. You gonna do that? Yeah, I'll do it. Where are you passing to? Passing to the Passing, really. so you're I'm going from location to location. Yeah. <laughs> you can't stand in one spot. Really and work it. It's just, you, you just, you move <laughs> without. So you have to be going somewhere. Okay. You see there's stairs going upstairs, and there's another room. Stair room. Where's, Where's the room, room with the hole? Huh? And all of Where's the Where's the room with the hole to go into the. Oh, no, it's back at the shed. You guys oh, are in the house. Okay, okay. They're oh, called shoot. prostate okay. massagers. Okay, the rope. <laughs> yeah. Try and find them. Wait them. for ropes? Yeah. Roll two dice six. There is one. Uh, four. That was a four, no. <laughs> I'll try to go upstairs. Okay. Um, some steps out of the, the, the shadows. It's a goblin with a, a short sword looking at you. Your guard. Speaking in goblin. <laughs> telling you, get out. It looks like he's pointing at you and pointing at the... Do you know where a rope is? <laughs> Roll 2 dice 6 on your charisma. We'll call it. I know you don't have charisma, but it's, we're just, just roll a 10 or better. 6. 6. Not 10 or better. No. He doesn't understand what you're saying, really. He only speaks goblin. <laughs> okay. Okay, so well, he lives in our country. country. He should learn our language. <laughs> <laughs> she, she or he is yelling from the thing. Make it speak common. <laughs> it lives in our city. Oh, really? <laughs> I think we just broke. <laughs> We give another that. <laughs> what are you doing? Just straight up broke. Am I still in the house or am I outside again? You're you're in the house with the <laughs> goblin looking at you, holding a sword at you. You can quit now. And kind of pushing you back towards a weapon or back towards a window. Do you just get out? Are heating? Uh, or do you yes. want to attack the, the, the goblin? No, no. You have a weapon. Okay, make two dice six roll. See how you, how well you get out of the room. You leave a brass boy-sized hole in the wall. Sixteen. You fall through it. Fucking wham! Lies back outside. What happened? Those goblins that stopped me. I couldn't find rope, and he didn't understand me. <laughs> well, then we shouldn't be here. We could eat bugs. <laughs> I would try another window. <laughs> I'm going to try to... <laughs> or, or maybe we can go home. <laughs> Roll 296. Jake, you looking for like a window in a different room? No, I was joking. Okay. <laughs> Has it, uh, are, we, are we there yet? No, we're six away. <laughs> You're busy, Jake. This has happened like the, you know, the really early morning and you're busy dealing with those druids or the cultists of oblivion. Okay, so you need the drops up that bad. Uh, they may jump down and see you. Uh, <laughs> sound like you're stalling. <laughs> we can just jump. <laughs> Come on, I'll be fine. 
<laughs> One of the comments was, it's like a train wreck. I can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> what do the kids do? <laughs> I see. What uh, the hell does the doll do? <laughs> ah. She enchants her doll. She what has do no do? spell shit, but she can enchant her doll. Booty doll. makes her doll happy. What do you do? Um, what was your talent? Uh, streetwise. Okay. Crap. You may be able to roll on streetwise to see if you can find where uh, some rope may be. Yeah, try that. See who would have some around the neighborhood. Uh. That will literally get four. And four. <laughs> Eight. Okay. The guy next door has some out behind his place. He's dead too, so it won't matter. He died? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he got made into a vampire. Oh, that's right. Yeah, remember the thing that she You know you know what we could have done? Yeah. Found a clothesline and stole a rope from that. Well, yeah. we got rope now. And somebody's got You didn't say you went got it! I'm of course nope. I'm gonna get it. You guys go spend two rounds getting the rope. You're gonna get it all right. And some. You have rope. A charge of beating me on that. Right. Roll uh, two dice six for the rope since you found it. Six and. Ooh, I'm like doubled again. <laughs> six and. It's sixteen. Sixteen. You have 160 feet of rope. A what? 160 feet of rope. That's more than you need. Okay. You know, I am going to beat six kids' butts when I catch them. <laughs> You're not playing him. You All right, are Tina. I'm not going in there. They go. They go back to the. They, they throw. The I rope. don't do dark holes. Does anyone bring light? I'll sit here and eat bugs, okay? Or I might just go to the store and buy me a sandwich because I have five bullets. She, okay. That's one of the reasons she's not convinced yet. Go she's got secret first. money. Okay. <laughs> so Brass Boy starts climbing down the hall. Cut. Bye! <laughs> you let her go? Do you cut it? What do you do? Just watch her go? Yep. Okay. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> that was just, I want that as my room challenge. <laughs> Anyone else following her down? Following him down, Brass Boy? I'll, I'll go just to make sure. Okay, Billy Bob goes. I'll go down. Okay. If I don't go, y'all die. So I'll go down. You know, <laughs> How about you two stay up there? I'm you, gonna you stay go? up here with Tina. <laughs> Tina and, and, and Bella don't want to play with the dark no. ball? No! No! Okay. Everyone that went down there, roll a die six. Four. Five. Five. Six. No. I, I ain't going down there. Uh-uh. You know, we could go to one of the uh, bakeries and buy a donut or something. The walls of the money. room are decorated with tapestries. Depicting uh, like religion situations, it looks like like taking of things and gods and demons fighting. Um, where to go down the hole? <laughs> on the wall is a cloak rack, <laughs> which a bunch of cloaks are hanging from. These oh, are like adult-sized uh, cloaks. Oh, they're not kid-sized cloaks. Anyone want to steal a cloak? And. There are four oil lanterns in here. As long as your volume's down. Going to try and light one. Make a roll. You make the roll. Two, two die six. Two or one. Just two die six. Two. Yeah, we want a total of ten or up. Six, seven, eight. Nope. I'll Probably don't have fire. Uh, I'll try to take one of the cloaks. <laughs> okay, you can take the cloak. Huh? I'll also grab the cloak. A cloak? Okay, yes. both of you guys write down cloak on your character sheet. Druids of Doom coat cloak. Yeah, you can do it either as long as it's on there, because you know, then I'll just put them away later. They'll cause problems later on, I'm sure. 
They'll probably come back for a sequel to this. <laughs> no wonder Edo made a dungeon. It was just to keep the kids from attacking our house. <laughs> we put traps. Get the masons hire them to put traps at your door. Okay. You wouldn't do that for the kids. <coughs> Did everyone that went in the whole roll a dice six? Yes. Yeah. What'd they get? I rolled a four. I got a five. You got a five, I got a six. That's right. I remember now. In the dark, so all alone. Okay. And anyone else want to try to light a lantern? I'll try it. Okay, two dice six. What are we lighting them with? No one. You're, you're hoping there's like some kind of stuff laying Actually, around the light. It's dark fire. It's called luck. <laughs> Rub two dicks, I mean sticks together. Fifteen. Fifteen. You made it. Apparently, <laughs> um, while you were, you know, you, apparently there was some matches or something around, some flint and steel. You want know, to get one of them lit, so you have light now, and you get to roll a die six or two die six. Seven. You knock off another one of these rounds. Lighting was good. Okay. This is where the fun begins. Oh no. It's an orc. He comes <laughs> running in here. He just kind of appears in the corner of the room. I can see this one more. Like out of thin air. Orc. He looks angry. Yeah. Six foot of angry adult monster. <clears throat> Stab him in the dick. <clears throat> yep. With what? Now, a I have she's a knife. knife. <laughs> okay, she's got a knife. Everyone else has rocks. Rocks are used this way. You throw them. I'm going to throw mine. You throw two dice six. For every six you rolled on those dice, it does a point damage. They only do spite damage. Now, if you roll doubles, you get to keep adding. But each six equals one point of damage. Everything else does nothing. That's what you have. Oh, uh, you have a knife action, at least. Yeah. So, you may roll. That's cool. Uh, could I, use, could I put a, a, uh, a spell on him? Well, well, you don't have any spells yet. What spell we have? You have the spell, which makes your stat, your, your doll makes your spells cost half as much. Mm -hmm. You haven't learned the next spell yet, though. Mm -hmm. You kids. Okay. <laughs> you found out how to make your doll living. <laughs> <laughs> You make scary dolls. Okay. One of the viewers yeah. said, oh, that is not good. Never <laughs> want to hear the GM say, here's where the fun begins. <laughs> <laughs> that is that, that is true. Oh, yeah. It's like the DM warning sign. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should roll your dice. Should I roll mine? Anyone else doing attacks? Yeah. Nine. Uh, if yeah. you're throwing rocks, roll two dice six. We're not, we're not done there. Hmm? You have one point. I got Remember one that. point. I did it. Silch. Okay. Or would that be one? Who'd you get? Seven. Or uh, anyone else? Oh, you're the only one's down there. Okay. <clears throat> you do a point of damage to it. Yay. And then what'd you roll? Uh, nine. Okay, you take six points damage. Out of the hundred? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily you have a lot. But it looks like this thing's hitting you. You need more help. Okay, next round. <clears throat> oh, then Edo and his first shot. No, but you're getting close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, since I'm up there, I'm going to walk over But it's here. Oh, yeah, it's true. You're not even down there. You're just hearing... <laughs> People screaming okay, now. Everybody throw rocks and hope. Okay. <laughs> no better die. Eight. Okay, anyone else? You said you were throwing more rocks? Yeah. Nothing? I'm gonna keep throwing more rocks. Okay. Thing. Got seven. Seven, you got a six and a one? A five, five, and two. Yeah, all matters are sixes. No six. The six is spike damage. It does automatically one point damage. That's why. So <laughs> nothing so far. Six. So that seven doesn't work. No. You need a total of six on one dice. Mm -hmm. Each of them will be two points then. Oh. But each six you roll, they're just throwing rocks. They're not weapons. 
They're not beating people with them. They're just throwing rocks. <laughs> the kids throwing rocks and things. I threw one, got a six. Okay. Um, next round. And we'll mark off another one of these. Yeah. Good point. Six. Okay, you take four points of damage. Huh? I hit six. You hit six? That's one down. What's the five and three? What the heck? I also got six. Tackle it! Kick it in the deep! There! That's starting to work. Okay. Yeah, hit it. And... Because we're just going to need this because it's going to take a while for me to get here, too. So we're going to have a couple extra rounds. Which are kind of like they're upstairs yelling at kids at this point. <laughs> Next round of combat. So that'd be three rounds. Eleven. That's not good. Two A seven again. <coughs> okay. Too, well, everyone else. Anyone else to throw a box? I guess take I'm 10 points. Ah. I just put another one. I got Third one. Both of you guys got, got one each? I got a five and a one. No, six. So you got a point? Yep. I take 10 damage. <laughs> yeah, no, I got six. No, it's. No. It's one yeah. dice. I know. It's called spike damage. It tells the trolls has it that if you, anytime you roll damage, I'm trying to charge myself. One. <laughs> but it's only people that use that have spike weapons. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Last desperate attempt. You guys are throwing rocks at these. This orc, she's fighting with a dinner knife. <laughs> a butter knife? No, it's more like we used to cut. I got double six on that one. Yeah. Well, hold on. If it was your turn, that would hurt. I know. I'm just sitting blind with it. But Eight. go ahead. We're having we're having a lot of fun tonight, aren't we? <laughs> What'd you get? Oh yeah. Uh, Eight. And I have a head to hit this. Five points. Okay, so that's a good thing. The three of you also. Dang it! Just mm. by, by now six. Six. Nope. Oh, it's, uh, it's doubles. Add and roll again. It doesn't matter if you roll sixes, and even if they have they count their doubles. So six. six. One. I just hit a six. I Both of you? They can't aim. Okay, you're not masters of rocks. You gotta Obviously. talk to Stan. I'm a master of rock. Stan will show you how to throw rocks. Stan. Christelia is not here, Stan so the rock doesn't count. He's master of rock throwing. He knows because he, he, he beat the guy who taught him how to rock, throw rocks. Beat him with rocks. Okay. Sure gets to go for the eyes. Uh, everyone shows up. And there's some kids hanging around in your yard over by the shed. There's I'm two at, of them are standing I'm outside. I'm going to go up and grab the two that are standing outside. You surely know about a lot about this situation. Yes, there's two kids out in the yard. What do you What's guys on? do? Wait, 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 wait. Both of you two roll two dice six. Okay. Roll doubles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. That one's gone. Yep. Run away. Wait, you killed him? No, he just ran. Hey. He got, she got caught. She rolled eight. Okay. She, so Edo crabs her while the other one makes a book for it. With her bag of bugs. <laughs> yes. Throws a bug in her mouth. Slightly yet satisfying. <laughs> so, what do you do? What do you say? What's going on? Why are you here? <clears throat> I really don't know. I don't do my do what my kids did. I don't know. <laughs> you, you don't have any little friends that are down in my dungeon, are they? No. That's Considering a weird my doors question that will get you out. arrested in most states. <laughs> no, the other dungeon, not the sex dungeon. Do, I, I, do you guys have kids down in my dungeon? <laughs> that was almost the name of the adventure. <laughs> Children in, in my dungeon, but I didn't want someone guessing where they were. <laughs> no, they have them. <laughs> 
Did you notice the rope is tied to the tree nearby and hanging down the window <laughs> or down the door? <laughs> Roll two die six on your intelligence, Ado. Shake things up a little bit. Uh oh. That's another thing that is terrifying to hear a DM say. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. shake things up a bit. Change stuff around. The, Change a dragon things. appears. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> stuff never starts good. You have that. rocks and a knife. Why doesn't the things changing ever mean here's a bunch of gold? 77. 77. Your window's broken. Yes. <laughs> yes. To help her brother out. <laughs> really? Okay. What happened to my window? Fox, Freya, could you two go down into the hole? Just tell the people to go down on you. And find out who is down there. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm just standing around. You and Crystalia stay with her. I'm going to go talk to my goblin. Oh, no. Hey, can I use my keen hearing to hear anything? Yeah, there's like weird noises coming from down down the road. There's like fight going on down there. Sounds like rocks. <laughs> and metal. So can I just blurt that out to everybody? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a fight apparently going on in your dungeon. Just so you know. You three. Oh, shit. Go down there. Let's do this. Uh, you and you okay. come with me. I'm gonna look at the window. The three people climbing make two dice six roll on your and add it to your strength. You're coming with me. You can give me you're gonna look at my window. Wait, where are you going? Well, I'm going into my house. Okay. Okay. My okay. Okay. You might have one more Twelve. round there. Twelve. Nah, I think we have an idea. Here. Give me back the character sheets, the kids. Nineteen. We'll play in some. Now you're back to your characters. Nineteen. Hey. Nineteen. None died at least. Steve, no. <laughs> Hey, they'll come back, I'm sure. Yay, yeah, Steve! 19. And my what? They'll come back to this house a lot. Strength. Strength. Yeah. You know that big stat you have? Yeah. Like 32? Yeah, 32. Hey, same as me. But then he also has it superhuman. So yeah, because he rolled four dice 51. six. 51. <laughs> that matched. Jesus. So he gets a bonus of like, his strength Cheater. counts double two points. Showed that rope who was boss. 51. You're too How about everyone else? 36. You're good. On strength? Yep, strength plus what you roll into this. 28. You made it. You're down there. And you find four kids fighting an orc. One's fighting him with a knife, <laughs> and the others are throwing rocks at it, and then they're running around picking up rocks and throwing rocks at it again. I pick up a rock and I throw it at this. <laughs> oh, neat! Ha! I'm going to you. Freya, this is my game! Ha! <laughs> oh, got him! Oh, you throw the rock at the kids with the adults. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put the rocks in my orc! <laughs> Things friendly for this? No, he looks to be attacking the kids. Alright, I'm gonna take an arrow, uh, shoot an arrow at it. <coughs> Second level roll to miss the kids and everything. He's like firing over their heads. I hope you're better than the American kids. So, it's. I gotta shoot all these kids before that orc gets to them! <laughs> How about that and my what? From 2 dice 6 plus your dex. My dex? You need to make a 25. I take it you err on not shooting the kids. Yeah. Aim for the kids. And 
shoot the one with the They knife. won't be hungry anymore. They'll be dead. Plus seven. Plus twenty-six. Matter of fact, three. You see the orc actually hits one of the kids. And there's a big clang sound, like maybe the kid's wearing armor. Forty-three. Okay. Uh, roll damage. Uh, 43 was... Yeah, you hit it. Roll damage. So roll your points. So put your 44 on the calculator. 44. Okay. Um, and... Okay, you're using your bow. Yeah, just roll damage, actually. Just roll damage. That's the six dice. Yep, six dice plus the missile lads. He's just rolling damage. Yeah, I know, but... They do amazing amounts of damage when there's no defenses Did you against catch them. It in time? Okay, this is it. Everybody's getting a freaking dice bag to keep their six dice in. <laughs> all right, they're all right here. Should they have all to keep their own dice too? They get next year for Christmas. Because two people lost. Aww. 71. They couldn't take it anymore. They were just watching for the kids. Seven. 71. Yeah. Oh, the fun part's good. Dead orc falls. Thump. <laughs> take 16 points experience. Oh, actually, yeah, you take 16 points and the kids all take one point at least. Do I get a point for doing a rocket? <laughs> 16. <laughs> You're on now. Throwing rocks. You have weapons. <laughs> the kids start singing jingle bells, jingle bells. I think the orc's dead. <laughs> you roll a dice six though. Four. Okay. Wait, can I use my um, verbal? No. Okay. Because all we were doing was we were checking for treasure. Oh. Okay. As the kids jumped on the orc's body and started checking him for change, and one grabbed his sword and ran off. <sighs> Was it the brass kid? <laughs> sure, he's the only one that knows to do that. Well, the problem is, where are they running? Yeah. Crap. So they want to they run go, for the. They go further in the dungeon. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, if I'll chase after them. I'm sorry. No, the one kids. Of those things. The uh, kids run for the rope. The rope. Okay. They look to be climbing, trying to climb out. That's pretty. Cool. After the kids. They're heading your Who's way. Who's at the top of the kit? The top. I tried to shout to Ada who was outside. Uh. <laughs> I haven't gone inside yet oh. to my house, so I'm up there. Well, yeah, I tried to shout actually, to Ada and tell them they're up there. Actually, because of timing, it'd just be those two. So as the kids get up, it's those two. Both you guys roll two dice six. And I'm looking at the window. You and you roll two dice six. Oh. Add it to your speed. No! Huh? One and two, no. No, you failed. You tripped. <laughs> Kids can pop it well, out of the hole. 15, so. And then you trip. No, it's a, it's a three, no matter what. It's a fumble. 18. One, one and two, and two is like no matter when it comes up, it's a ah. fumble. 18. Sipping damage. 18 also fails. All four kids escape. Yeah, well, we know where one of them's going. I still have yeah. one kid. Well, yeah, you do. The one you guys had before. You said she didn't fumble, she didn't lose it. Let's eat her. <laughs> no. Crystalia! But I'm trying to scare her. No, she'd make good, she'd make good food for my hey. troll lamb. Hey! Hey! What? You went and signed the goblin and told you a story. The kids were like picking around the yard, looking around the windows, and checking the doors like they're trying to get in. And then one reaches over and punches through the glass and opened the window and then just jumped in. Well, I went to scare him away. Told him, get out. Didn't seem to understand me, stupid humans. And then jumped back out the window. What'd the kid look like? Um, it might have been a human. And a boy, I think. 
What do you mean you think? I can't tell with you types. I'm not human. Oh, that explains I'm open. a lot. Okay. <laughs> you all look weird to me. Except for you have the nice goblin ears. Quality on that. His dick's the same size as a goblin's, too. Problem there is it could be healed. <coughs> but he's pretty strong. The kid. Really? Yeah. Didn't seem to hurt his hand at all. Any, like, uh, distinguishing features of the kid? Probably wearing metal gloves from the way it, like, crashed through the glass and then just kind of moved all the glass out of the way as she got in. Or as he got in. I know who to talk to. And one of them cast a magic spell <laughs> to try to help her escape, but she didn't move while the spell was being done, so it didn't work. So black energy like flew around her, and then she jumped out the window. Quite, quite good. Just leaped and had a, a diner dinner knife. I'm gonna go break another window. <laughs> no, really, I'm going to I'm going to go find a window and break it. Are you sure you want to do that with yes. you standing right here? I want to do it right now. <laughs> really, Castaya? What? You don't know what I'm doing. Um, he knows. The cop he knows what I'm doing until I do it because I didn't say I'm gonna go break the window. You. I'll what break you? your windows too. What's you your bring point? A for all. He doesn't have a house. I don't. Cool. <laughs> he lives in a stable. <laughs> I'll break his hey? horses. They're not my horses! <laughs> he gets an empty stable. He doesn't even get a horse to keep him warm. I'm afraid what he would do with it. He sleeps next to the horses in the stable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. My place is already shit. I don't care. <laughs> well, hey, Just yours is doesn't mean everybody else's has to be. Oh my God. Okay. Elvin. I'm gonna break the Demon window woman. to see how much force it takes to get through the window. <laughs> it's called forensic science. Look it up. <laughs> it's called. I'm gonna kick your demon baby. You'll lose a foot. I knew there was teeth down there. <laughs> <laughs> Those were there before. <laughs> it was right there. Oh my god. The door was open. <laughs> The dwarf had heard bad stories. It's like elves and the running joke and is she now. has a teeth in a certain area. <laughs> no, she just has sex with demons. And Don't she has teeth. The rest. <laughs> the demon didn't see the blind. You know, I've only slept with like three people in this town, and one of them dead. Had extreme range. You had a priest and a demon at yeah. the same time. Same he covered, thing. He covered the gambit. <laughs> So you were, you were doing good and evil. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have them on my shoulders, I had them on my back. And in your front. And back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys get out of the hall. So get out. God, I wish. I have 3,000 some odd dollars in the Kids are gone. You have one. She's, she's holding one. Let's eat her. <clears throat> she says no. That's what we want to know at this point. How about this? Take her to the head of the guard. Let him know what. Oh, to Mal? No. Wrong? Yeah. He's not going to take time. Okay, take him to the mall. Okay, take him to the mall. <sighs> yeah, right, I always kid. deals with the kids. I have that dungeon. Right, You're right, going to jail! Alright, kid. You put Let's him in jail. Go. We'll probably be trying to so right next to the jail cell. Get back up with you somewhere. Or find, no? a, find out where her friends went. Get some names, <laughs> some addresses. I'll get everything I possibly can. I'm gonna smash a window. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, take, I come back and I take, take her, her with you. Window, you're next. Take her with you. Yes, let's take go. You take me with you. Take Crystal with you. All right, yeah, let's go, me. demon elf. <laughs> okay, elf? fine. Demon elf. You fucking elf. <laughs> that sounds like really bad too. That sounds like that's a new Delph. word. It's like <laughs> Delph. It's like racist almost. You know? <laughs> well, for an elf, it would Is that be like a dad milf. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Dilk? <laughs> 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 
Jesus. Chair one. <laughs> Roll a die six. That is terrifying. It's a kangaroo, but it's just like... Ah! Six! Four! Oh, four. I got one! <laughs> four. One! I got a one! Four. Anyone else? What you get? Four. I didn't really... I Roll die six. She was laughing too hard. I got four. four. Five! <laughs> All we need is a three, and we're good to go! Who had ones? Me. Roll a die six again. Seventy-two. No, out of uh, five. Okay. Oh. Perfect. Wait, shit, wait a second. Is that the, Kalu the Malibu? Oh, no! Is this the, is this the, the mango Malibu that was over there? Or? <laughs> oh, we only really had mango. Oh, <laughs> oh, Look at her face of alcohol. <laughs> We need alcohol. <laughs> you want to be alcohol? Don't you mess with a dwarf. <laughs> or you had to run cross country to catch up to you guys. <laughs> well, uh, that's the coffee one though. I want to put that in my coffee. And he's awake by the time you lunch. What time does he usually go to bed? Oh, uh, God. Okay. Usually on work days. What? I don't understand what you're saying. In bed and asleep before the other one. Which one? The other one. It was the sequel one. Not that one, the other one. It's always the other one, isn't it? Oh, I can't change it. That was good. Next to look for more opportunities like that. <laughs> I know you have teeth! <laughs> jump, 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 jump. She's the one who said you lose a foot. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of opened the door for that Shum. one. Shum. Okay. <laughs> Bellman skilled. Yes. Okay, you did the first roll. It was fine. Who's doing the second roll? I can. Pick someone in the group. Nope. Go around. Roll die six. Two. Yeah. One. Who's one die six? Six. six. Make a level two same roll and luck. What? Yep. Question is, who's driving? <laughs> it's only like a shot. Still. No. It's Thirty. Thirty. You're good. I drove the other day. Who's next? Why do you take the things I love? I'll go. No, you're dealing you're with what? the. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm not even here. Um, do you die sixes? No, these two are gone. What the? No, no, no. Okay. Remember during the day, this is before, actually I've kind of did a little out of order. But this is when you guys were running around doing your uh, oh, yeah. guild stuff. Oh. To catch you guys up. Okay. Roll die six and roll die six. Four. Two. Okay. Both are good. And then one more again. Five. Okay. Where are we going? Well, you guys gathered. Well, then you guys swung by the house. Because you thought you saw some people hanging around there. Met the kids. Now those two are gone, taking one kid to the jail. Okay. The other four of you, which is who? Me, Silver, Fox, Raina, and Freya. Okay. <laughs> Castelia and the guard are taking child to jail. Yeah, so she doesn't break any more of my windows. Keeps now I'm just gonna wait until I'm not around people to do it. Finally. Middle of the night, you're just gonna hear. Uh -huh. She's gonna, gonna kick her ass. Out. Then. You'll be like, you'll know it was me, but um, you'll never be able to. Person prove it. who started this. Ado, roll two die six. Oh. Doubles. Okay. Um, do I roll doubles? No, what'd you roll? Four. Four people. That's not very many. Come walking up, kind of angry about this whole problem with the warlord carrying rakes and other utilities for weapons. I think we're going to go home and watch some uh, Lord of the Rings after this. The first one's on YouTube, or on uh, Netflix. Yeah. Huh? The first one's on Netflix. So, uh, what's going on? Um, we have the complete six. 
this whole yeah, warlord yeah, tax. Including the Hobbit. He's out there collecting and getting money anyway. He comes back with tons of gold. He doesn't need any money from us. Well, you pass around this bad information. There's no way he thinks about getting away with this. I'm just protecting the messenger. So you step forward and make a charisma roll. The mountain strips. Oh, God. <laughs> 80! 80? There's four of you there? Yep. Okay. Got pretty much your advantage because uh, you got to meet in numbers. You guys have weapon and armor. They have brakes. So they kind of like, you know, upset at you guys and call you names, but they leave unless you guys push it. <coughs> I'll give you some information since you were walking around with them. If anyone is playing a sit, well, you come, the tax comes from a man who comes to your home, works for the warlord, evaluates your place for the tax, and then uh, charges you for it. If you have a problem with it, you can file a protest with the panel to delay for one year, but then they will double the assessment, but you have a year. Unless the prince, of course, decides to, you know, override the tax. Where's the prince at? Oh, he lives in his castle. Let's go talk to our prince. No, you can't talk. You can, well, actually, one of you can. I can. Go talk to your friend. It's not a friend, but he's got a citizenship award. He did good. It's like kiss up points to the nobility. Don't, don't make us have to turn into a small angry mob. Hey, your friends are going to be the mob. Yeah. People leave and they're like, now worse people show up, your friends. Yeah, yeah, this plan sucks. And you're like, I didn't do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk over there and talk to him. Well, you can put a request to talk to him. Oh, yeah. I still have not gone to that leather shop to we find can. out why my gloves glow. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you want to check that out? Yes. Okay. And then we have to go back to the blacksmith and snitch on his kid. <laughs> so, well, question is, wasn't the dwarf and demon ch demon mother over here? Oh, you can meet up on the way to the Red Le Red Earth Leatherworks. Give all the information I have acquired. Mm -hmm. Never They're leave kids. Huh? They're kids. Never leave them alone with a dwarf who's got a ten foot anchor problem. <laughs> what do you do to him? Huh? What would you do? Put so, put the fear of something into them. The one that looks like my hair. Oh, look at my hair. That looks cute. Oh, it's the whip, sorry. Being a, being yeah, but that's the only one that looks like a boy. Huh? <laughs> They're street kids, man. I will bury them in a mountain and <laughs> close the gate. And seal it for a thousand years with no exit. <laughs> Any of the girls in the group say they will yell rape. Who's gonna hear you inside a mountain? Okay, Rundown Home is a store and a workshop that comprises Red Earth Leather Works. It's located on the back alley of an older section of the city. Here, Jack Carrot, also known as Harry Jack, produces odd leather accessories from the mildly paranoid um, to the all out warrior. Um, Jack's trademark is a rich, ruddy ochre dye. Derived from a secret source of clays. That's what you find out. Um, you get there to the house. Knock on the front door. Close start one. It is basically the time they get hit. Like when you clap, they glow. Ah. Ah. They don't get hot. So, you knock on the door, hands go a little bit. I may have to use my charm on this person. Open the door. I'm gonna borrow my dress. No. Guy looks kinda like this. Yep. I'm using my I'm using my Perfect thing for a demon baby mama would go after it. 
<laughs> no, I only go after it. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Spiders. I have a thing for interdimensional beings. Okay. 69. Okay. What do you want to... How do you approach it? What's going on? So... Sticking in his book. I was given, given these gloves. And every time I do... Oh! Boom! So he it and he's like, looks around. I think you got the wrong ones. Come on in, so... You weren't supposed to... He grabs a bowl. No, 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 no. No, not yours. I know, because they're the blacksmiths. No, they, he shouldn't have gotten me either. I made a mistake. They're from another delivery. Okay. I can give you new gloves, though. The proper ones go with the suit. The ones I planned to give him. Well, they're right over here. They're really nice. They're really comfortable. Let the blacksmith know that you made a mis mistake. Here you go. Okay. He, he gives you a new set. But first... Big gloves, you should do that. He's like, don't do that. Why? Well, people will want them. Everyone in the shop's looking at you. It's just a magic trick. Because <laughs> I want more boots. Okay. Why do, why do they do that? Why do they do what? Glow every time they get hit. It's just... The side effect of the uh, clays in the water I use. Same thing that gives it a red color. Somehow it uh, leaves it mildly residual to magic. Picks it up and or like can be set off by it. Kind of a photo senses, or not photo senses, but you know, philosophers. So since I know how to boom bomb something, it's picking up my magic. Yeah, you don't have to have any magic. See, um, sneaky people, you know, disruptive people, people, bad people, would buy them and then use them so they could go someplace where they'd be in the dark, rub the gloves together, and get enough light to pick locks. That's what I've heard. And that's what someone bought them for, and I made them a pair, and well... Not all the leather I have does it, it's just, you know, a special set, when I give them special treatment, they work. And <coughs> okay then. Look around the shop. Mm -hmm. He also sell, sells boots and any other item like tunics. Shirts, vests, caps, hats, arm bracers, all kinds of things. See anything of leather? Including leather armor. Do you want to buy some more? He also has whips. And Chris always interested has peaked. What? I already have whips. Yes. So, that's what you find out. Mm. Oh, experience points for the uh, bell ringer and all that. 120! 120 for everyone that went on it. Three, it could have went worse. And could end up with 10 people attacking you. Um, round. first level 300. Yes. Did you make Which it? Which one was that? 120 submission that we did uh, with the Bellman's Guild, which you get 124. How many do you have? Got 185 right now. So before or after the 120, I just get. Including no, that would actually put me at 300. Okay. Both so you both of you get to be level one, you put 300 experience points, and then uh, you can decide one. what stat or skill you want to increase. Your stats right here, if you want to increase those. charm. Do you want to... Bring up your charisma talent. Add two points. You join or are you a wizard? Or do you I want to resist fatigue? Do you want to increase your charisma? Do you or you can increase your. Uh, increase that? Um, okay. She wants to increase her garut. garut. What? She, she wants to increase her. Oh, garut skill? Yeah. Um, add four points to it. What do you want to increase? A skill or a step? 
So 28 plus 4. Or increase my luck. Okay, what's your luck? 8. Add 4 points to it. Jesus. What? So I think it's double the luck. So, no, sorry, 2 points. And skills are double. That's why she got 4. Say, 2 points. Four. I was saying it was a skill for some reason. Actually, there is a luck skill. Mm -hmm. We're not using that. Oh, that's a little bit higher now. Okay. Well, yeah, You're just right. playing with it? Yeah. Damn, Bill! At the table? Seriously? Playing with the dice. Devin doesn't do porn anymore. <laughs> Although... <laughs> oh, I want to scratch my back so bad. Want me to? No! Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. Um... <sighs> they were probably... Um, you know, you have friends, the druids? Which ones? The ones that have now becoming priests of Putrexia, and also you have a missing friend who has joined the other cult. Yes. Your cult friends. Cult friends. They're now mostly in the priesthood. We're the superheroes that know <coughs> Um, they are, they have a missing ingredient with a cure. They don't know what or how. Or um, they're kind of drawing blank on what to do at this point, but they can't get rid of the uh, plague, which they thought they would be able to fully. Oh, I don't want to be poked. And you stop it from spreading anymore, but the people that have it are going to kill you to have the side of your anatomy. There's an ingredient. We tried the ingredient from the thing. And for something, there's something from wherever this comes from because. Somehow it worked with you fully, and it didn't work with others. We tested it with a couple people, and they were fine for a couple days, but then they started sliding back into addiction. Well, we tried. I guess I'll die. Any ideas on, you know, what it could be, or anyone you can talk to, or? Human being. Well, here's a, here's a logical question, <laughs> if I might ask Cristalia. Were you with that thing before this all started, or did this happen after? After what? Did all this disease start before you were pregnant, or after you were pregnant? Before. Do you know of anyone who may know of the realm that this came from better? Well, they'll leave you to think on that one. We will now go to seriously dealing with the meeting with Morlock. That was too long. Hey. Mm -hmm. Meeting with Morlock. God, no. The rich side of town. The guy who paid right. the everyone big bucks last time. What's that? He wants to see you again. What's that? Do you bring your friends or go alone? I bring my friends. Okay, he meets you at the same rent-a-fort. <laughs> it's an old fort that people just rent their wealthy and noble. What's that? And the albino dwarf with no beard meets you says, I need you to meet someone. Okay. And they will pay kindly. Their name is Charlie. And uh, gives you an address. It's uh, definitely one of the richer areas of town. You say the guy's name? Yeah. Oh. There we go ahead inside. They come back and get you guys and hurry you over to the side entrance. Hey, 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 hey! Don't touch the butt! You guys come in the side entrance. <laughs> and you meet in a kitchen area. And Charlie, a rather... Oh, elven looking lady, but definitely more laid back and relaxed. <laughs> it's like so. 
you're the ones in Morlock's sense. You seem to be quite stealthy in your last actions. They didn't catch you. And uh, you didn't make a mess. Now, but I've heard that information shows that you can do what works. Mm -hmm. Okay. 500 dollars ahead. Got six targets. Okay. And a bonus with a delivery. Where to? Okay. Well, you may have to wait a day. But I have six individuals that uh, could be an embarrassment. And I need just to have them eliminated. Okay. And, uh,. Gives you a list of names. And you notice something. These are the council members of the Elvin Hate Group. Six of them. And she wants them assassinated. We and we need this envelope delivered. Don't open it. Just leave it there. Okay. 500 head and 500 for the envelope. Okay. And we'll know because we want the heads. Okay. So. It shall be yeah, done. I'm not going to carry the heads. <laughs> I will. Just put them in the bag. Okay. Krampus is coming to town. It shall be done. <laughs> okay. So, all agreement on the deal and the prices and everything? Yeah. Okay. A, uh, well, what you would think would be a red rope priest, but it seems to be taking some kind of contract. Just to sure. This is just to make sure that my client here is not, you know, have any backsplash or any problems. Um, you, you the only one that would roll on. Roll two dice six on your intelligence. Uh -huh. Fifty-five. <laughs> You've seen Charlie. She was one of the paintings in the rooms for the offices at Sylvan Embassy. So. That's your situation on that. So let's stew for a little bit on that one. I want to... Uh, uh, charisma. Charisma. Uh, 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 I want to hit on her. Isn't that her job? No! It's my turn to seduce do somebody! Come on now! <laughs> I'm gonna rip out the dick. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> so slow and step it. on it when he hits the ground. It's only this big around though, so it's like a little tiny garden. <laughs> 63. Well. She seems not totally unwilling, but we'll see how the job goes first. Let's not mix the two. Let's get business out of the way first. Sounds good to me. She, uh, will comment that she thinks it's, it's rude the way some of the elves have, uh, seen their conservative past as, a uh, something to drag up again instead of growing forward with life. You can't become young just because you want to be. Exactly. Now, um, that one does look like we're going to that croc. Do you know of anyone to help the priests? Yeah, can we give it time to think? Because no, that's right here, and we'll just skip it if, if you don't. Put on this pretty dress. What's going on? What, what? what about the priests? You're not there. Oh, what about priests? <laughs> do you have any clues on what you can do for them? They're trying pretty hard now. Okay. 
So as the things mentioned, we'll give you a chance to and then I'll go ahead and give you a, a, a roll to see if your character remembers not yet. Okay. No, no, no. Um, what time do we got? 9.51. Okay. Everybody who has medication, they need to take it out. Oh. Um, everyone rolled that six. <gasps> six. Oh, Five. Two. Four. And what else? Two. And what you have? What you roll? Four? Okay. Four! No ones, though. I don't know, did you roll over there? Or what? I saw you didn't roll. Roll with I six. You should be in the game three. now. You are. <laughs> okay. Everyone's fine. Nothing weird happens. Until Q Hugo comes stumbling around the corner. Hugo. Your pestering guard friend. I'm stumbling around a corner towards you. I'd be drunk. I seduce him. What do you do? Seduce him. No, now it's your idea. I don't want to do it. And he comes up towards you. Seduce you him. Do? What's up? Seduce him. <laughs> and then he reaches at you, grabbing you. It splashes blood all over your armor. Uh oh. And slides down and falls on the ground. You! Gurgling. It's not I'll his get fault. Help. He hit his head a bottle. In. You've seen what happened. Right. But just a reminder dwarfs aren't meant for cross country. Is <laughs> he running out? One full of armor. Okay. He's gurgling something. What? Can you listen? Roll two days. Roll doubles. Yep. Really? That's what he's gurgling. 20. 20. <gasps> Fine. But what you hear him say is for you to tell Nell he loves her. Even when they were growing up together. And then he dies. Neat. I loot him. That's oh, well, I'm gone. <laughs> okay. So you're standing there. Who else is there with you? All of them? He's the only one that's gone. He went to go get help. Okay. Um... So you go to the military and inform them that dead guard. Yeah. They get some people and Grom comes running over and gets on a horse and rides over and leaves me in the dust. No, you're on a horse. <laughs> God. Yeah, I mean a ladder to get on top of it. That's, that that's a Shetland pony. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's something I can ride. You're on a donkey. Oh God, please no, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> 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 What do you do while you're waiting for people to show up? Clean out the blood. Off your armor? I loot the yeah. body. You check the body? I loot the body. Roll. Wait, two dice six? That'd be fine for what I wanted, but I'll also roll dice six to see what's there, if anything. Okay, so should I do double? Roll one dice six. Nope. Okay, so uh, three. Okay. Um, you okay? He has his guard related okay. stuff. But he seemed to be wearing some kind of cloak to help cover up his guard stuff. And he looks broken up, chewed on. Like what color robe? He was wearing. Um, this is just like a standing riding cloak. Neat. Like from a store. I'm not taking it. Wasn't like necessarily. Wait, it's like a gray. Yes. Uh, I don't want blood on it. So you guys watch 
potato clean the blood off herself as you're going through checking the body, see what you can find. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, three dice six. For money. Three dice six. Three dice six? Yeah. yeah. Uh, ten. Ten? A bag with ten silver pieces. Neat. I don't want it. That's only silver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ew, times. <laughs> Will someone go get sweet now, please? I don't know. She'll follow you anywhere. I'll, I'll, Love a I'll boy. I'll go get her. Okay. She knows your dick's pointed, right? <laughs> yeah, at least I don't have hey. teeth in my coochie. Guard show up! I told you it's glass. It happens from the heat and the sand mixes. When I was so, the sand does what happened? Nice. It's true. Hugo came stumbling around the corner, grabbed me, spit blood on me, and then he stabbed her. Told me yeah. to tell Sweet Nell a message that I don't think he would want. Said out loud, and then died. It was about his dick. Okay. He misses her whispering eye. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't touch him. Well, technically you did, but not that you had any problems with Hugo, have you? No. That's not what your report stated. No physical. Problem. But you reported harassment on it. Yes, but I wouldn't kill him because. Wait, of this. isn't Nell the one that you like? I don't like Sweet Nell. Yeah, the one that's always like Nell? giving you cupcakes. Yes. Why do you call her Sweet? Because that's what she introduced herself to me. Oh, as. okay. It's not like a darling. No. Wait, isn't she a baker? It's a pun. Besides, I have yeah. I have my interests on somebody else. Oh. Not you. <laughs> But Cristalli examined his body. Yeah. He didn't have shit to take. Um, it looks like he got chewed on, though. Well, you know, he had an investigation on you going. Did it? Fencing. Huh? You said it was strange how you had the biggest house on the block. You I don't have a, a foreseeable income. Odd jobs. I'm just Those telling jobs. you, he, he was he was investigating. You said uh, you're fencing through S and G. That's why you took out the other fencing organizations. Colat. I didn't take him out. And uh, the Putrexian fencing. I started working for the Putrexian. I know. I'm just that's he 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 saw them all connected. He thinks you've been taking out fencers nope. to uh, happen to leave everything for you. Same with killing the uh, slavers. Although I understand you, it, is, it didn't form me malice, and, you know, you said Mal did it. Not very much. Others didn't seem to report much about it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit this other fucking elf! Don't look at me, I didn't do it. Well, I guess you're lucky. If he's dead, there's no investigation, so. I, I don't think he was right about his entire investigation. We know how you've been getting money. <coughs> but just because me and you understand what happened doesn't mean uh, he didn't get himself involved in something knowing or feeling that it was the case. So, um, you take 50 for that, Edo. Excuse me. Okay. Did Sweet Nell, did Nell show up? Yes. You tell him what happened. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, she seems very sad, but they were just friends anyways. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Is that them as adults? It doesn't change anything for me. It's, it's a joke. It's <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> there is nothing between us. I told you I'm legal. <laughs> Somebody slip my throat now, please. Okay. Okay. What time we got? I'll do it. 10.01.
Okay. Try to time out with the amount of time left. This it doesn't give a running time thing. We start about seven or seven thirty. Seven thirty probably. Seven thirty. And we should remind the people watching to vote for a most valuable player. Yes. Definitely. People that get it, one person per game, and they get a free roll to resist. Hey, wonder if we're picking up that rank. Probably. Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, get, vote for MVPs. Whoever you think was the funnest, most <coughs> entertaining player, that's what we're looking for. Otherwise, it's, the nice thing about role-playing games is it's non-competitive. A chance to get together with friends. And make fun of them. And there's small pointy penises. Teeth crotch. It's glass. Demon baby! It's glass. Demon baby. It's a glass demon Eight. baby? That's oh, gotta hurt when that shatters. Glass. glass. Now watch, when when the de when the baby's born, she's gonna try to seduce it. <laughs> no, she's gross. gonna seduce her mom. Okay. Um, I actually was planning, but we're gonna jump a Can bit ahead. as well. Um, as everything finishes up here, what do you guys, what do you do? Now that you know, everyone's looking at you saying, um... We need to go talk to the blacksmith! Okay. Which one? Findar's? Or the one she works for? Brass boy! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. You go... Oh! There. Information on that. <laughs> um... Because you happen to have the goody two shoe, you'll you you'll find out where they live. So, I can names and everything. Um, she Freya knows where it is. Nobody's. Where are the kids living? Oh yes. Yeah, okay. That would have been helpful like <laughs> half an hour ago. You know where they lived too. You helped me bust them that one time. Did I? Yes. I don't know these things. Yeah, I just want to go get the one that busted my window. I can tell you. Broke into you. my house. Hopefully he's back at home. Kicked my Smith. dog. Okay, we're going to the blacksmith. Okay. You get there. The locksmith. Oh, did you find out what's wrong with the gloves? Yeah, they were the. They they sent you the wrong ones. Oh. Do you make good on it? Yep. Um. Okay. Your kid. I don't have a kid. Brass boy. Oh. Who told you? <laughs> he broke oh, into my. Freya? He, he broke into my house. Huh? We caught him. He broke into my house. He broke into your house. Him oh, and a group of kids. Thank you. Okay. The neighbors over here. Huh? There's kids over there in that house. Yeah, they he got into some shenanigans. Shenanigans with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want done? I want to know why they broke into my house first. You know, kids will be kids. The street kids are probably trying to steal food or something. See a bunch of them hanging out out front there, but I didn't know my son was going out there. What did the girl tell you? The girl told me the exact person who actually broke into the house, and it was Brass Boy. Why were they there? They were there to try to make some money to get food for the house that they were in is currently out of food. Yeah. It's not their house. <coughs> so they had heard from Brass Boy that there could be some guy who was worth selling to make the money to actually be able to afford food in that house. Somebody loves me. He's being such a cop. Did <laughs> <laughs> you get a role playing bonus for that? <laughs> I think you should. Actually, yeah, I'll give you a 20, 20 experience points. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. So, do you want him to apologize to you? 
I don't think he knows how to put a window. He probably didn't know that the window would break that easy. I don't have windows around here. Yes, yeah, so I would like an apology and a promise from him that he will never step on my property again. Ooh, uh, okay. And he'll do it. He says you didn't have anything anyways. Super scary thing in your basement. You have monsters in your house. <laughs> to keep the little kids away. Okay. So. Anything else you want to do about this situation? Mm. What do you do about the kid in jail? Go get her out. I want to find out where these kids live. Right. Okay. Aaron knows where these kids yeah, live. Yeah, these kids live over there. Well, still, you can go get her out. Yeah. So okay, so she, he goes to get the first. girl out of jail. Bring her back to the house. Y'all follow Frey over to the house? Sure. Or are you gonna yeah. let her follow you guys instead? Okay, she's not part of it. Nope, <laughs> nope, you're all good. You got either way. You don't want to do these rabid kids running around casting spells and you didn't stop it? <laughs> not mine. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna take you over there. They don't answer the door. Knock, knock. The spell? Mm -hmm. Okay, it unlocks. There's no magic to it. It's just all first level locks and barricade and oh, boxes. Her. It could have. I have Loctite. The, the Steve oh, you'd have to lock it then. Oh, Steve? Yeah. The same thing about that. He's a kid. He was what tired. Are you going? <laughs> okay. Are you kidding me? I, when I was a kid, I made sure that my door and was you locked. You see kids running and hiding. Let's get them all. Light it on fire. Really? Everyone rolls speed dice, speed points, plus two dice six. Every level of it is one child. Five. <coughs> 46. <coughs> I got 21 yeah. on the farm for that. Huh? 21. <coughs> 25. One, two, two. How many did you get? Uh, I got Raina. No. How many did you get? 24, it looks like. So that's 1, 34, 2, 17. Nope, none. They hate me today. It falls down again. Well, you're going to Dwarves get another girl. cannot catch Joe. No, we already let her out. Yeah, oh, okay. and she brought us to the house. Oh, uh, okay. You all catch some kids. Drag them back to the center room. I could have technically been holding the one that we already caught. Light them on fire. You failed. You rolled a 17. You lost that one, too. <laughs> Run, Rory! And all of them ran. Um, Dwarven boots. What do you do? You have kids. I don't need, I don't have the responsibility for this. Who did we Wait, rant? it's too early. Who did we Okay. Rant? All the kids. All of them? All five of them. I understand you guys are going... Well, that's a couple you guys didn't know about. <laughs> Continue on. I understand you guys are running out of, or, or don't have food. I can help with that. You don't need to be breaking into people's properties. Okay. But why'd you kill our, our cat's friend? I uh, didn't do it. I know who did it. I could tell you who did it, Crystalia. Someone died. The crat turned Crystal did oh go away on Crystalia. She went berserk and killed the cat. Or the crat. That sounds like something I would do. You did. Okay. So you don't keep an eye on her. She runs off and beats up crabs. I was trying to befriend it. <laughs> I wanted a new friend. Well. 
Okay, fine. They'll stay away from your place. Your place didn't have anything good anyway. <laughs> no, but I have something good in my pocket for you guys if you, if you promise to not break into anybody's properties anymore. Oh, cool. All right, here it is. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. Was used. Oh, by the way, who cast the uh, spell to help Brass Boy out of here? Kids can't have spells. I know for a fact. What? A goblin? I was like, shh. No one said there was a goblin? <clears throat> My goblin said there was a goblin. He said he was there? Yes. Okay. Who's the one who did it? Billy Bob? You sly little fuck! <laughs> Anyways! <laughs> keep this promise. Go out and maybe do odd jobs if you can. Not a lot of jobs that kids that can have. Stables. Let's see what they can do. I will give you a hundred gold to stock up on food. Okay. If I catch any of you on any properties, God, I'm sounding like a parent. <laughs> I will bust your heads in. And I get to eat you. Exactly. Like you did the the crap. I didn't eat the crap. What? I didn't like crap. Not not food wise, but they're cute. They look like little tiny golems. And then. There's a knock at the door. I'll open it. It's a smithy. Hi. I, I got some guy in here that says you were supposed to see him. He's over at my place. He said you were wearing my armor, so he thought you might be here. He turns around and goes back to his place. Let's go. Okay. Uh, it's someone from S and G. Yes. We um we had a problem last night. What? Someone broke in. Okay. It wasn't me. We don't know how they did it. We have the runes up and everything, but maybe you need to come look at it and see if you can find out what we can do to make it safe again. Okay. Okay. So you get there. You basically see that they'll tell you one of the ogres found the guy and threw him out the window. And there's a broken window about 10 feet up. Ooh, more broken window. As the guy went flying through the window. Can you have the ogre tell you what the guy looked like so maybe I could go track him down? Okay. Um. He goes and talks to the ogre. And Um, he's looking around. Uh, what do you want to ask him? What the guy look like? Gives you a uh, look. Like a human. But he was like wearing all gray. He didn't get much of a look at him though. <laughs> was he big? Compared to the ogre, no. But compared to you, yeah. Was he cute? That was a city guard. His name was Hugo. What do you take? Um. Like I said, uh, the ogre, the one right there, says he just saw the guy standing there and he just grabbed him and threw him. The ogre killed a city guard. Well, the guard shouldn't have been in our building without... He was investigating me. Okay. And since I work with you guys... He was in here snooping around. 
because supposedly I took out two other fencing companies. Really? How much you charge for that? I know nothing of this. Oh, 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 okay. I, I get it. I was just making sure what kind of work you had to do. I have... Wouldn't want, to, you know, wouldn't want to tell anyone about it. I understand. No question here. This is a gnome. Okay. Everyone. There'll be a bonus point so anyone can... What about the way you found Hugo doesn't fit your report? The bite mark. No, he's talking, it's just because he had been slammed up against a wall. But he, no one said anything about a bite mark. I said he, he had been chewed on. Yeah, you said that. And he actually, the bite mark looks too big for an ogre. Looks exactly like serrated teeth on an elf. Question is, how big are the bite? How big is the mark? No, that's too small to be my vagina. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, I wasn't even going to go And the there. marking looked kind of like a shark did it. Oh, the markings are close. When the heck Where are, does when the heck did we get that window? Sharks? Point, it's an alleyway behind the building. You go outside, you can find about 10 feet up against the opposite wall where he hid. <laughs> How would he wind up in the water? Huh? How would he wind up in the water, though? Shape shift or? No, he may just crawl in it. Try to escape. He got bit. No, no, there'd be nothing in the water for that. I think it's a lizard creature. I'm just going to call it a lizard. Looking at what the doctor says with the uh, priest says, he was bit before he was killed. <laughs> so before he was thrown, he'd been bit. Matter of fact, the last thing I got on him when I did a read dead was please don't eat me. The last place he was spotted was at S and G. He could have gone in there to duck away from something. Let's go back to S and G. Okay. Super naked gaze. What do you ask? Since they're your buddies, the pre sure. Is there anything in this warehouse? that is capable of leaving a huge, bigger than ogre sized bite. He goes pale. It was ogre sized? No. Well, wait, hold on. Did you, didn't you say it was smaller than the size bigger. of the Bigger. Or bigger? Bigger. Snitch. No, that's not my name. Tell me what you have here. Because there's a reason why you're pale. I can't. I don't go in why? the sun much. <laughs> that's, that's what we gnomes have. We have no skin. We, we live underground. Um, you'll have to talk to the boss. Otherwise, I'm going to get fired. All right, I'll go do that. Okay. So you go talk to Stubbit or Gromit? Both. <coughs> one's busy. No one's busy. Drop it. Probably He's eating. He's always busy. Yeah. Then I go talk to stub it. Okay. What do you want to know? What in this entire warehouse do you have that is capable of leaving a bite bigger than an ogre? There is a city guard that was killed by one. Well. Don't you know some guards? Yes, I do. Well, the guy was in our ter our property. I mean, I don't. He think... was investigating me. Well, guess he was wrong. Can you tell me what killed him? Probably the wall. When the order threw him. Nope. Well, that's what killed him. A. 
priest is. Uh, there's an ogre knocking at the door. That's the window. Actually, he's looking in the window. Second floor. No. No, I not bite him. What did? Boss. He was trying to eat him. Grub, grub it. Thought he was pie. Seriously? So I grabbed him out of his mouth and threw him out. Okay, I need to talk I to Rubbit. I didn't know he died. I need to talk to Rubbit. Okay. Uh, Ogre was trying to protect him. Mm-hmm. Rubbit's sitting there eating some new pies. Why? Why what? Why did you bite? Why did you try eating the guard? He's hungry? I hooked you up with pies. I know, I know, but you know. Oh, he surprised me and he looked tasty and I, you know, it happens. You ever like walk along down the street and happen to see someone, no one else around, you think I could eat that? No. Yes, but in a different manner of the words. Okay. <laughs> you know one of your ogres is in deep shit right now. The deepest. He could possibly be facing death for what you did. What's anyone going to do with it? The guards have him. Because he was a guard and he was dead. You're not supposed to be here. Is that your job? Huh? Weren't you supposed to be security? I wasn't asked to come in. Nobody said a word to me. Well, I only eat pies for on now then. Do you... Do you need something else? Do not report any of this. I don't hear anything. So it comes in, spitting that he is a devouring demon. He's constantly hungry. Demon, you say? Okay, well... Boyfriend? Possibly. He likes to eat what out. What can we do to help? This the situation would not be a good way. Yeah, I haven't done anything like this in a long time. I advise a guy probably not illegally break into places and stick their nose around. He's he's dead. Well, can't say I feel bad about it. I don't either, but... <coughs> you can tell him that he was killed on our premises. He was breaking in. I'm fine with that. The fact is, if the ogre found him alone in the room, he would have thrown him out also. So. I just wanted to know what exactly happened. I understand. That's why you get paid the, the big bull. <laughs> so. What? Take 100 XP for everyone that helped on that one. That's pretty much all of us. Yeah. Oh. You didn't get into, like, attacking the poor guy. Another 100 for you. Um, so you're at... 400. But, I'm really starting to think. I think we might be calling it. I think so. I know. Um, I'll need to get a list of people of interest and write it down just because. People we've come across, so this way it's like, ah, oh, we know this person. <laughs> oh! Before we end, we'll start with um, you two, as in Cristalia and Fox, roll a dice six. And by the way, Devin? Yeah? One. Just one dice six. Aaron gets another one. What? Freya, for having a knife and breaking a window. Oh, and a six. <laughs> the active kid? Yes. What? A six? Yeah. What'd you get? <laughs> What'd you get? Huh? I got a one. Okay. Uh. 
and go through them all in one, ga one game. <laughs> That's what I didn't invite to you that I had. This never going to die. Never again. So I'm never going to let her get in trouble. Unless she's playing a brass kid, then she's going to bust open windows and just cause shit. <laughs> I have a knife. <laughs> Attack orcs with a knife. <laughs> smack. Quit hit me or I'll kill you. Smack. 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 Stop it. They're throwing rocks at him. We got some bad kids. Okay. <laughs> um. I think. Because that would be better. Ah, oh, six and what? One. One. So I guess it's only the six. It's pretty easy to tell who won. Uh, Merrick wants you to check on something. You know, he's the one that's got a little more connections. Yeah. I heard your friend had some glowing gloves. <laughs> I wonder if you can find out about them and see about getting me up there. <laughs> oh, let me see what I don't going. have them. <laughs> you were there when I gave them back. Right. You can tell them who I got them from. I can tell you where they, where she got them at and where they might be able to make us at. Okay. So you tell him? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking leave my hands alone, people. <laughs> Okay, we're Christalia's gonna call it there, picking, people. Cristalia's picking on Ado's dick. Jeez. It's all right. I still got her good. Done. You know, after a while, if I just keep repeating it, it's gonna come true. It's gonna be fact. 